Are you going to do the YouTubes? Yeah, I'm, I'm setting it up right now. But yes, can go already. Thank you, my friend. All right. Are you recording, Anu? Oh, that. All right. <laughs> the reach was a struggle. Hey. Anu. I got to work out. Oh, that was there. a good clap. Oh, never mind. We're good. We have this ongoing um, battle with <laughs> uh, John Garcia and Marco. Right. Marco. Tattoo. What is, I don't know his last name. No, we couldn't get the fucking slap down. It was always like fingertips. Like. Some kind of far reach. Yeah, it's know. a far reach, but we can like extend it out. It's yeah. just the timing. You just gotta like, know. Yeah. You gotta try pass some over. See what this you guy get. This guy's always looking for a new clap partner. Oh, yeah. see there you go. Eric it's like an Okole off the seat guy. I saw that. <laughs> the new medical study on the effects of marijuana use confirms that everyone knows you're high and that you'll most likely never stop feeling like this. Your parents know you're high. Welcome to everyone knows 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 What's up, everybody? Welcome to Everyone Knows You're High, starring The Grow Guru and myself, Eric. This week, our special guests are from the legendary Hawaii music group, Natty Vibes, fucking <laughs> Wayne Enos and Wayne Tejada, everybody. Oh, super fucking stoked. Super What's nervous up? to have this podcast. Having uh-huh. legends in the studio. <coughs> Long time, my <laughs> But thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for jamming earlier. Oh, Fuck, yeah. That was mean. That was unreal. That was like a whole portion of my life. Like, oh, just yeah. flashed before me, man. Oh, yeah. Like, it was crazy. I was yeah. told Eric, I was like, I'm going to try not to fanboy too hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how I feel. Like, just like I no, grew up with right. my favorite band in the world, you know? Right. Like, growing up, listening to these guys. Penny, awesome, legendary singer, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, man, so huge shoes to fill, bro. Huge, and you yeah, feel it and fucking oh, well, man. I just man. love that everybody, you know, is joyful about it. And I get to sing my favorite music. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what year did you join? Yeah. Uh, just a year and a half ago. Little, think. little over a year. Wow. Oh, during like, the pandemic. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Well, like right after the pandemic. It was like yeah. what? May. Uh, yeah, it was in May of last year, 2021. Oh, fuck. No right shit. Yeah. And you grew up listening? Oh, yeah. I've already played my whole life music and uh, played a bunch of their songs already in my sets. Yeah, growing up with a bunch of people. Mahalo to those guys. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it was... I had to learn a lot, though, the cadence and everything, uh, yeah. how to listen to them a lot, you know, and all the songs that they threw at me. I just was like, oh, yeah, this is a new challenge, new challenge, new challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But you've had yeah. decades oh, yes. of practicing. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and With there the was band. a platform already, uh, already built, you know, to work and easy to, like, just build on that, you know. And when did the band start? In the 90s, yeah? 93 mm. or 89. You know, oh, 80s. That question is debatable, bro. Oh, yeah? like some guys, it's all different. Who's doing the debating? <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of members at first, you know. Oh, yeah? Uh, we kind of like 15, 16 guys all in one garage trying to Whoa. just jam. Yeah. You know what I mean? But whoever was serious was like, okay, you're not serious. Yeah. And they kind of whittled down to six guys, yeah. It was Penny. Uh, Kua was our original drummer. Mm. Uh, Katen was his brother-in-law. He was playing percussions. 
Uh, his brother Keone was on base. Okay. And who I got left out? Shane on keyboards. And that was the Shane all natural had. CD, right? The, the what was that? Yeah. All the all the all the albums basically. Wow. Is oh, those shit. six, yeah. But then the first three albums was with original bass player. Mm-hmm. But then he had to. He got one, one not a job, one not a thing for do. So. Right, 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 right. And then uh, that's when we got Jehua in 2000 as our new bass player. Okay. And when you guys were starting out, did you guys all have day jobs? Because that's one thing I always talk about is like Kauai artists. That's, that's the ones that dropped out. Had day jobs. Yeah. The rest of us, it was like, I'm not getting one job. <laughs> We're doing this for sure. You know? yeah. You're going to do it, commit all yeah. the way, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> and do that's what it die. takes sometimes because sometimes if you let your you know other real world life job shit get in the way, you crush dreams, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. But then it, it takes a toll on family and stuff like that too, right. uh, especially yeah. if um, your kids are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, commitment. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, that How is. much of that is like your significant other being accepting and supportive of? Because I, I know, you know what I mean. Not always the significant other sees the fucking value of what you're doing. Maybe or you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So like, how is that like? Is that was that a struggle like for anybody in the band? Is that another reason why people fucking yeah, bounce? <laughs> It, it, yeah, it, it affects relationships. Yeah, like like I was saying, I was in the army eight years. Right. I was also married at that time too for five years. Had two kids. And when when I was getting out, and I told her, "Hey, I want to use my college fund and learn how to play music, and I will make a band." She was like, "Oh, right." And she was from Tennessee, so she was like, "I don't know." I'm out, you know what I mean? Right. right. Yes, that plan never worked. Yeah. No, I mean, you think about it too, it's like you're following your dream, something that you want right. to do. Mm-hmm. You're heavily invested into it. Mm-hmm. And she, with the kids, probably was like, oh, that's probably not the most practical move. Yeah. yeah. You guys wasn't she, on yeah. the same wavelength, you know? And she was like, you just want to play music and smoke pot, you know? Okay? Right. So, yeah. hey. The shit fits. <laughs> Let's <True>. go. <laughs> but it, that's the kind of strain you're talking about, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. And tolerance to what we was doing. So, yeah, that kind of stuff's happened too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it just like a lot of gigging and rehearsing in the beginning and like. Oh, yeah, and like all. Tour, touring. Were you guys touring from like the beginning? From the beginning was. When we got serious, kind of. Yeah. Right. Was right. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday rehearsal. And then we'll find one not a day for do. Um, vocals mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when we're not having to have the whole band there and rehearse the whole thing you know what I mean just the vocals and then um, Wednesdays was like a meeting like this oh, sure. similar to this yeah yeah, yeah. but uh, <laughs> um, we used to use that time for vent oh no and, sure and, and ask questions and blah, blah, blah. Because if we was doing them at practice, it was like, because we hit a practice. Take away from yeah. the actual practice. Let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it actually mean? seems really healthy, actually, to have that, like, yeah. moment. Do you guys still do that? Ho'oponopono no. kind shit? <laughs> no. No. But everybody's, you know, kind of cool, different cherry, now. Different vibe, now. Well, during the age, too, and yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. kind of a little bit more, I guess, excited, punchy when you're you younger. That, plus, we need that commitment, yeah. So, yeah. it's like, yeah. That's your job, cuz. Yep. Right. Right. And plus your lady giving you stress at home and you come through practice, you irritate her. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out on everybody. Yeah, we ain't established that rule real quick. That kind of kid. No girlfriends in practice. <laughs> Leave that outside. Not even your friends. Close rehearsal, kind. Yeah, close rehearsal. Yeah. Just a band. Hard when get... That's business, right? You got to take like that shit. took it seriously. Song. Play yeah. this song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's funny because our friend, my friends, have a band and we always used to go to their rehearsals and shit. It was like a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you guys kind of conducted yourselves well, right? No one's like, nah, we no, fucked we, around. I yeah, mean, everybody yeah. who wasn't in the band was there, fucking acting a fool. Yeah. You know what I mean, I was in Kahlu at that time. If I don't party outside, no problem. Mm. Just while we practicing, everybody out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It's good that you guys took it so professional right off the bat to yeah. establish that foundation. Like, hey, bro, if you can go and sacrifice mm-hmm. everything, might as well fucking go in hard. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The other thing, too, was um, me and our original drummer actually started the band. His name is Ko Ibarra. What year was that? 92. Okay. Around there. Okay. It was right before I got out of the military because okay. I got out in 93. And he came up to Schofield after I got divorced. I don't drum set. He was on drummer without on drum set. So he was like, I can't pick you up. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but I had all kind of equipment too, like on bass amp, guitar amps, microphone stands, and mm-hmm. some choke percussions. And because uh, once, you, once you start wanting to be on percussion, or uh, on musician. musician all your family that do musician kind of stuff, but they don't use this stuff anymore. Oh, yeah. you nabbing hey, on I that? <laughs> <laughs> use this. I don't use them anymore. You can shoes. I so, out of the military, up. no music experience. Just went. Just ukulele. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? Kind of ukulele, good for kind of stuff. Just vamp kind of not in any technical. And then in the military, I'm learning from guys who playing guitars, and I just look what they're playing and I follow. Oh, shit. Sure. Learn the chords, you know what I mean? Wow. But not for, I'm going to do this. This is what I like to do for my yeah. life. You know what I mean? My career. Just to pass time in the military. What was it, that change, It was though? a hard choice. Yeah, you know what I mean? Now I'm not making money. Lucky I even got the GI Bill because that was like, if I go to school, I get paid. Yeah. I use some of it for pay for the classes, whatever else come. Fuck, I gotta, I gotta pay rent, I gotta pay yeah. gas, I gotta need a car, I need this, that, you know what I mean? But when I met Kwa, um, him, he was really into God mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Christ and the Bible and everything else. So that was really our foundation mm. that we was pushing hard, bro, when we first started our band. Like a gospel vibe. Nobody was the leader. Only one leader of the band. You know what I mean? Every gig, prayer. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. Every gig before we play, prayer. Every practice before you practice, prayer. No shit. If there's something situation going on, maybe, you know, where one guy who was with us before, his father passed away. Okay, I get to get up, you know, say prayers for him. That's solid. Give all the glory to God. You yeah, know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Even for the herb. Yep. That's solid. You know, that's a part of the professionalism, bro. Uh, you guys humble in the approach and yeah. what you guys are doing from yeah. the very start, bro. That's bound for success yeah. right there. Humble fools, but. Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck it. We all learning, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're so paving the way, like, bro. Humble fools. Is that how it still is now? It kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But. Um, like with that, it's like, it's the fruits yeah, that we reap it, and you mm-hmm. can tell by the fruits you reap, right? And saying, since Brother Wayne came, everything, it's just been like on double, double, two trees of fruits now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bountiful. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. And what about you? So you played in other bands. When did you first pick up your oh, first shit. instrument and realize music was for you? I think, um. The, the, the thought of um, when I first, like, when pick up my ukulele was about 10 years old. <laughs> no way. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, well, and then thinking before that, the first time I ever heard on reggae song, because my family used to do karaoke outside every time when I was young. Uh, I'm the youngest of six. Uh, and um, they always used to do parties and stuff like that outside, karaoke especially. And I would come outside and they asked me for one song and I knew um, Alpha Blondie's song Kokori Raka yeah. that yes. song and that, was, that was a song my oldest brother used to always play all the time on the stereo so and asked for that song and then that thought always comes to my mind when I think about when was the first time I fall in love with music you know mm-hmm. what I mean it was exactly that point it wasn't Whoa. me picking up the guitar or the ukulele when I was 10 years old it was when I was 5 years old and I heard that song and I came outside and sang on a microphone. So your instrument was your voice. Um, well, I've I was for a band, uh, 13 years old. Um, I played the ukulele, learned the guitar, and then um, had three of us, my older 
um, brother, like my friends, my good friend's um, uncle. And he taught us a bunch of stuff. Some other like people taught us a bunch of stuff. And uh, 13 years old, I learned the bass guitar. And then I was the bass guitar player uh, for this three person band and we yeah. used to sing all kind of music at Kolu, you know, what's the first and, what's the first song you ain't learned? Whoa, 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 this is our oh, podcast, was, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, bro. I have a question. Kind of, oh, you gotta ask me on the way out. No. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, joking. I never I, I just it's felt joking. like it was a perfect time to make a joke. I think um <laughs> that was the kind of oh, creative boys, the kind uh drop baby. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. nice. The old yeah. G B minor yeah. vamp man. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, since we're pausing right now, I'm going to slide this in. But um, shout out to the return of Turtle Doves. Yeah. Behind the scenes, running audio. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. 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 And next to him, we don't have a camera on him, but yet, is yeah. Bud Naked, our Ooh. video and photographer extraordinaire. Nice. The whole team is back together. Shebang. Yes. It's reunion. Perfect time. <sighs> yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Slide that in. They're back. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello, and we get small kind high by solidify. Oh yeah, in the What's background that? with yeah. the awesome banana cream desserts pie. <laughs> yeah, bringing us again the next box for our next giveaway, brought to you by Hemper Cole. Check them out on Instagram. Follow them. Sponsor. I'm, yeah, plug plug. That's plug. a good transition. It was it. Proud of you. Was it? I don't know. <laughs> Very felt, professional. Felt, Eric. Fuck, felt clunky. Man. I'm not good at this shit. Just let them go, bro. Really Damn. Sorry. Keep moving. Keep moving. Anyway, back to back to our <laughs> But um, Smooth, okay. everyone, everyone knows. Everyone, everyone knows. Shh, nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna know. What is that one? No one's gonna. So know. when when <laughs> you <laughs> how old they know? <laughs> when you got into the band, what was the one thing that you didn't expect? Um, for Natty Vibes. The one thing that I did not expect, I. I just only expected time to be um, and put in whatever I could to at least, you know, make at make this thing work with mm-hmm. whatever I can do. And at the same time, it was easy because it's my kind of dream come true, you know. In yeah. And it's weird how this all worked out, you know. I've told a few people this story, but when I was younger... <laughs> Um, I went make one wish with one one of my friends, and she asked me, you know what, um, you like where you like being twenty years from now? And I told her I like be the lead singer of an awesome reggae band. And I told her that, and I'm thirty nine years old right now. The awesomest reggae band. Old, <laughs> and I turned thirty nine uh, when I was uh, just this year. But then I feel more of myself now rather than before how I felt like, you know, I'm just like trying to make this work right now. And it's for me now, it's more of just like, all right, we get them, we're going to go out, boom, we, we're slamming this, you know. You feel, in, you feel natural, and, like yeah. you feel like yourself. Yes, definitely. And I you on stage like seem organic too. Yeah, like, you guys have your own presence on stage. Me. I've done this for years too with other bands. I was part of uh, Sheriff Brown. I don't know if you guys know about that Sheriff band. Brown. Before, Sheriff yeah. Brown. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was uh, um, one of the singers of Sheriff Brown, yeah. Uh, did a bunch of you can this, find them on YouTube. This is like Sheriff that. Brown Radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the same without everybody, you know. Yeah. On YouTube, yeah. you can find that on YouTube. Yeah, or? yeah, YouTube, Sheriff Brown, but not your vibrations. Not your vibrations. Right no, but like I was at the birthday bash and like I was watching. Stalking you guys, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> from the watching from the shadows, yeah, you know, right, right, like right. watching you guys perform and like watching you come out, Wayne, and like you didn't miss a beat everything the energy was all maintained throughout the entire set and i was like fuck man like this is the same shit when i was a kid like and it's the energy is still alive and when you look in the crowd you see all the generations of people yeah. still singing along yeah. so it's like a timeless fucking yeah. thing it's like immortal like right. bro that's nuts Right, it was tough to like even I was there taking pictures <laughs> and that's how I met Wayne over there but it was like it's tough to even just take pictures when you guys are playing because I like yeah. I like that to like move it's yeah, a sacrifice you gotta, you gotta make yeah. man so I was like I was like man this is like tough so I have to stop sometimes and like jump around but you guys got like good presents bro thank yeah. you oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. it was thank nuts you. bro easily the best that's one. kind of what was the intention when we made the name of the band mm. what you was feeling yeah Right. You was, you know, yeah. 
natural. Can I keep still, bro? <laughs> the natural vibes, you know, it's tapping into your emotions and stuff like that. That's kind of what it means. And you know, like local music, you, you get, every so often you get like a fucking groundbreaking band that kind of sets a tone for another generation of bands. Like mm-hmm. you guys fulfilled that, you know, in the early 2000s when it was picking up steam, you know, like full circle and everything. Like people were all in right. and it's timeless. Like I said, you can, you know, 20 years from now, you can right, press that playing. on YouTube. Boop, you you know all the words. Right. Automatic. Just, just yeah. playing <laughs> your guys' songs is at like our winter balls and our proms in high school. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I right. never like go in that direction and make Uncle Phil the Kai. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, it's a testament yeah. to the longevity of the band. Yeah. You know what I mean? We all grew up hearing your songs. You know what I mean? I'm sure people watching and listening. The like same. Kalapana, right? You hear yeah. Kalapana, you know the songs. Mm-hmm. Boop, right. Country Comfort. Yeah. Boop. Automatically in your head. C and K. C and K. Butch Helen Mom. First, that was that was the guys we was looking up to at Butch. Right, 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 right. Uh, Brother Walter. Even yeah. Brother Walter, I changed my life here in his mm-hmm. his uh, music. Out of the box kind of music, yeah. yeah. From uh, Hawaii, but wow. doing different things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Experimenting with different genres, oh, not just the genre I like. You know what I mean? Yeah. At least at that reggae mm-hmm. feel. Uh, uh, and you get the Capenas coming out too. It's Capenna. like, wait, what a minute! This is crazy. It's different. And then you get, you know, everyone follows suit, and you get the same kind of music. And then, boop, you get someone else come yeah, out. And no. but I love it when Hawaii produces something. It's like, whoa, yeah. And the crazy stuff like uh, Willie K. Yeah. When I was still at Schofield, had on free concert for us. Uh-huh. Had this group, uh, La Vaita. I don't okay. know if you ever heard of them. La Vaita, Willie K by himself with on guitar and Capena. Huh. Huh. That's cool. And the crowd, all howlies, all military <laughs> kind, you know what I mean? But plenty of people. Um, they never like Willie K get off the stage, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. See that he taps into that vibration, man. Yeah. Make everybody like go. Yeah. But then when Capena finally did come on and everything, oh, raging. Yeah. Same vibe. Yep. Especially yep. the way they used to win was Kelly Boy and uh, the two tonguing guys. Uh, yeah, the original Capena. And then the drummer that passed away, he used to do some not shit. He could run the crowd. Even yeah. now till today, he has his kids, his kids up there. I mean. He, he take over, you know. So you can see, like, oh, Kelly Boy's up on stage. Yeah. Wow, the crowd's just in his trance, bro. It's his gift, yeah, you know. Yeah, he yeah, has yeah, that, yeah. bro. It's crazy. The uh, the original drummer he used to do on on uh, drum solo. Mm. Even Eddie, the guy, the the, the tongue guy that was drumming for the four, he used to kind of do that, do the same solo where they get up and go around the whole drum set, walk around. Oh no, yeah. shit, huh? Showman, you God. Did, you did that at uh, Schofield. I was like, oh, that's how God. <laughs> yeah. Just got to get up there and just have a blast. Right. right, right, right. It's not a job anymore. You're having fun. Yeah, You're yeah. Jamming yeah. out, yeah. You cannot be working up there. No way. You cannot work music. Right. You cannot work instruments. You got to play, oh, God. Right. It's supposed to be fun. That's it. Yeah. I was telling my friend, uh, my cousin, actually, he wanted to learn that, so... Uh, teach him some bass lines was the guy Mary Jane. Stay up on them, uh, Mike. Or I'm Wayne. sorry. <laughs> was uh, Mary Jane? I yeah, teach yeah. my cousin how to play bass. The bass line for Mary Jane and one on one. And then he was busy looking at the chords like that. So just try, mm-hmm. try look away a little bit and just try feel the rhythm. And he started just feeling the rhythm. And everything just came. I was like, right there, right there. You feel that? And he was like, oh yeah. No wonder you told me that. Mean, like, yeah, bro, you just gotta feel it. You gotta be one on one with them. You know how the avatars are. They yeah. run and they put the tail over there, the hair. Uh, kinda, Link up kinda, to the guitar. Oh, yeah, you just gotta. Yeah. My, my set in one trance. Once you're in your trance, everybody goes in the trance. Yeah. Yeah. And I get my two boys, eight and five. I get an electric drum set and I let them plug in the headphones and play. And like, my wife is telling me, like, teach them how to play. I'm like, nah, just let them play. You know what I mean? Maybe I grab their hands and show them something yeah. real fast. But like, I don't want to like regiment them at this point you it's just like have fun feel it out and just do what you want and then mm-hmm. when you're older and you're ready for discipline a little more discipline then the right. kids get ipads yeah, yeah. The just if they like play with their ipad just tell them yeah just pull up garage band kids drumming on oh. youtube or something yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they 
get kids doing them like all kind of lessons and stuff and if they if they're interested and they see other people doing them it's like no yeah you're right because they watch they like, won't follow right. kids and other people more than if you try if, if i try to teach him anything like, mm. yeah yeah Dad, i don't yeah. like doing like that spark Dad. the interest you know first Dad, boy, hey, look them on youtube Oh, that's Look, cool. these kids doing this. Yeah. Oh man, gotta be another kid, yeah. Can I be daddy for do that? <laughs> that's yeah, fucking dope. It's just bro. it's fun, like you but said. It, you gotta play them. Yeah, 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 yeah. When they see other kids playing them, they're like, yeah, it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Especially if they're like doing easy kind of stuff. Mm. Right. When uh, I was seventh grade, I had a ukulele teacher, and I, I'll remember this guy for the rest of my life. Like he was so influential in in life, not so much like just music. But um, he was like, you know, it's a ukulele class. He's like, Kale, you like play guitar? I was like, hell yeah. So he let me learn the guitar while everyone's learning ukulele. I thought that was pretty cool because it was just, I mean, we learned ukulele. And for me, I was yeah. kind of like, all right, I, I liked heavy metal, you know, so yeah. back in those days. So like, oh, they're playing guitar. Like, what is that? So he let me play. He let me kind of explore. But he's like, hey, we're not going to learn. We're going to learn contemporary Hawaiian right, and right. go in that direction. But mm-hmm. yeah, he never quit. And like, that right there, I'll remember that lesson forever. Not just you know, music. It was right. just like, just be yourself, cool. bro. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do it, go for right. it, yeah? So uh, yeah, I'll forever remember that, man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Alex, man. He's the shit. Did you guys ever take lessons? Did you take lessons to learn stuff, or you just uh, kind of... The only thing I took was focal lessons, and that was because I joined Natty Vibes. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So everything just kind of... And then that was the first time ever I took vocal lessons. But like guitar, ukulele, just watch uh, and learn. No, just, we learned from Iowa, you know, the radio, the brand. The radio brand would pop the Bob Marley CD inside, and then just go. listen and learn and play. Fuck, Back in me. the days, I we used to go to the music stores and buy the books, huh? Right. With yeah, the yeah. notes and everything. I never have a phone where you could just... Look yeah. I used to buy the tab books yeah. and just read tabs. Right, right. <laughs> That's awesome. I never, I never did, got into like reading music. I was just like, okay, G. Yeah. yeah. Tell me the chords. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> now we're learning numbers now. Numbers, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tabs I, uh, is different. My yeah, parents so. sent me to um, <laughs> learn slack key guitar. <sighs> Who'd you learn from? Um, This guy named Hal Kinnaman. I don't know if he's still alive or what. But wow. Shout out to Butter Hell. But yeah, like in 30 minute classes, live, you know, like with the instructor. Yeah. You know, smaller room than this. Like, with, and you got to bring on tape. You know, like on old, in, in back in the days, you just bring on blank yeah, tape. B A S F kind of tape. Yes. And then he put them in his recorder and record that. Half an hour session, and I can go and practice, listen to the tape. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. That was cutting edge at the time. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, was, man. Okay. Cutting the edge, and then oh, I kind of give me the tabs to too, uh, the tablature. Right. So I had a tablature, I had to listen to the thing, and then go and practice. Mm. Slacky songs, you know that kind. That was of, on a bucket list of mine, man. Learning Slacky, I just thought it was such a chill. But, fucking but the first song he actually taught me wasn't one Slacky song. Was in the standard tuning. Mm-hmm. Um, Moonlight Lady. Oh shit! Oh. So I was like, can't shut it down. Who sings that? Moonlight I was gonna Lady. spit it out, but I reserved because I didn't want to make a fucking fool out of myself. I don't know. Look it up. Was it Gabby? Come on, we get guys with computers that back then. This is one of those it's songs where plenty of people eating banana it. cream. Everybody knows you're the not guy. working. <laughs> not working. Moki, who sings that? Moonlight Lady. The Moonlight yeah, Serenaders. Yeah, <laughs> I want to say Cyril. One of them. I can hear that distinct voice. It's one of those ones that so many people, you've heard so many people play it live and at things and on the you know versions people yeah, covered on yeah, albums yeah. that's kind of hard to remember the origin of it at this point right 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 i mean i wish there was some sort of technology that you could just type in who sang this song and it could just tell you cool <coughs> gabby oh see you was right <laughs> thank uh, you uh, old man gabby oh, yeah man that's how you that's how you tasty treats and information shout out yeah, Small what's up, Anu? You're not <laughs> bringing tasty treats or fucking information. <laughs> I'm just fucking. <laughs> like, kind of giving, he, uh, giving classes for that that song too. If he anybody did bring like us that. this. <laughs> Which camera am I on? If anybody Which camera? Like, you know, half hour lessons. Yeah. All right. 
Anu, I mean, turtle doves. Getting lessons by you would be <laughs> fucking unreal, dude. Take a shoot. Go ahead. Oh, man. Jeez. What song you want to learn from the guy who wrote the song? Did you write those? What song? Like most of the songs from Natty Vibes? Most of the guitar parts? Yes. Yes. The songs I sing? Yes. Wow. The, um, but but majority, everybody input to the songs. Oh, killer. Yeah. That's awesome. It's not like I come in, okay, I like the drum like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough. The <clears throat> bass go like this. Okay. The, okay. The chords is, you know, I, I, shared, I shared the chords, but if you do something else, it sounds like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you guys just kind of feed off of each other, yeah. like, oh shit, personality. Yeah, let your personality out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because of that commitment we was talking about. Yeah, so gives him the right to to pitch in on yeah. whatever song. Yeah, all input you know is I mean? like valid. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm gonna light this. Oh, this is arms. from Turtle Doves. What is this called? The Nest Batch. Better than bacon. Better than bacon. That's Andrew's one. Shout out to Pakololo in Paradise. Okay. Nice. So, uh, Puna, Puna breeder. Nice. What did you think about it since now you're um, getting into the shit? You know what's good uh, with bacon? What's more, bacon. more bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anything? You know what's better than bacon? That's the joke. You guys heard that joke. What, what does um, pigs, uh, what miracles do pigs have? Miracles? Yeah. What? They turned their food into bacon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. All my vegan friends. Sorry. I don't I eat bacon. Guys. I don't eat meat. Poor pigs. Oh, sorry. But there was this funny. They're tasty, though. Oh, pig. Oh, Not anymore. My son is a vegetarian what? since yeah. he was born. Third generation vegetarian. Yeah. But. I remember I used to buy on the South Park DVDs in like in between the episodes back in like episode the season one. Like those, they used to have like little skits in between and they did a cooking show making with bacon and they would feed bacon strips to a live ba- uh, pig wow it was like oh ass fucking dark wow <laughs> right like at my movie, farm yeah. the other day i guess one chicken died and i just i rolled up i was like the other chickens are pecking it they're just all grinding the chicken i was like oh. well i guess you know <laughs> it, was a, it was a politician battle yeah, those yeah, motherfuckers was, are yeah. little dinosaurs he pulled the shortest oh, straw bad. like oh, yeah, fuck, yeah, that's that's do you guys farm at all you guys oh. get into that shit when we were younger, my father, everybody grew around with chicken fighters. Yeah, so. mm. yeah. Raising chickens. Growing weed. There you go. Yeah. I mean, I think it's safe to say it's part of La'a already. Right. Like, oh, yes. there's so much more medical uses that I think the Hawaiian community could adapt and oh, yes. put it into their regular La'a practices. Uh, right. Yeah, 100%. A lot of things, everything, like the noni, the yeah. luau leaf, you know, everything, the coconut, the ulu. Yeah. The, the, alva, alva, the, alva, the, alva, the alva, yeah, the red dirt tastes good. Uh, turtle better than bacon, eh? 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 Did you try it already? Uh, I did. I tried that one and then the other, you know, hey, the, the, mimi. Uh, the mimi, uh, the mimi. The mimi. Yeah, yeah. I think the this la- one tastes la- and po- smells better. Yeah. Where the fino has spot of it, cause uh, yeah. what's that? The other one's pretty right. No, we was talking the other day about lao la pao. A little bit. My my mom took a class at Winward Community College. I don't class over the uh-huh. weekend classes. And one of the wait, did you say weekend or week weekend? They, they were weekend <laughs> classes. Oh, I said weekend. Saturdays, yeah, Saturday <laughs> classes. Like W E E K. And that's why she was taking them. She wasn't gonna go commit. Them. Yeah. <laughs> like, shoot. yeah, somewhere for cruise, you know, because there's always different right. places. Because sometimes you gotta go out into the. Wherever yeah. forest he let go into and, and show you the leaves or whatever. I forget who the teacher was, but or the Kumo. But uh end up one of the classes was at Sandy's mm-hmm. early in the morning on Saturday. I just happened to be there. All buzzing smoking out here again. Um and she called me up. My mom called me up and she's like, Wait, where you at? I'm at Sandy's. I need you to come dig one hole. I'm like, what? All right. <laughs> Where is Sandy's you at? She goes, right there by the, by the bathrooms, right at the end. And I was at, on the opposite end of that. <coughs> so I stay on the phone. I keep talking. Well, dump, well exactly. Okay. And then I see her in her whole class. But anyways, though, 
they was this, doing this one um, healing session in the sand. Okay. Where we had to dig holes and get inside. They bury you and get like one healing thing. That okay. They do with that. I got to experience that. And it was that's on whole not a trip. But uh, after that, getting out of the hole and all of that, um, I had smoking carne. Mm, mm. And and the main cause was like that that I know is because I was going surf every day, and then go work out twenty four hour fitness every day. Right. Every day doing this and that that thing, and then just like that's that's where I think I got them from. Mm. So I asked him how to get rid of that. He was like, "Oh, Mimi." What is Mimi? <clears throat> Mimi. Nobody. Any Hawaiians in there? Uh, Olelo Hawaii Mimi. M I M I. Huh? Huh? Lee Lee Lee. Smokai. No no. Shishi. Oh. <laughs> That's the Hawaiian word for shishi, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, the amino acids? I think shishi more from, um, I think, Fiji, you know, where the thing is spelled C-H-I-C-H-I, but pronounced shishi, shishi. shishi. I thought that was uh, uh, like, uh, the sprinkler. Shishi. You know, like, how, why we say shishi, you know what I mean? But the, but because before the, when me, Hawaiian uh, couldn't say, you know, he couldn't talk Hawaiian. Okay, we're not gonna say Mimi then, we're gonna say Shishi. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah. You rhyme. So anyway, Mimi is like considered uh, medicinal. Okay. Because he was saying God made us. If 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 Mimi was dirty, then just come out one puka like one bird, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Why you need two exits? Okay. So one is definitely an exit. Left Sometimes yeah. to come out with it. Yeah. <laughs> you're not feeling so well. No, but you know, Mimi is different. Yeah? <laughs> like I was saying to him, there's, there's cases where guys got into situations where they down and saved their life. Right. Where they're stuck in one hole somewhere because all had. Taking yeah, fucking swings like, of that. So yeah. if you have to, uh, you know, like. Yeah. The teacher was saying, as long as you don't put them in the toilet. Huh. Once you put them <laughs> in the toilet, it's like you're doing on chemistry, um, on chemistry a, um, experiment. Now. You ever heard you know of colostrum? I mean? of what is that? Colostrum? The first milk that comes out of uh, cattle, moms. and So that's the first milk. That milk is supposed to be because the mom will eat all over. She'll graze and shit. So she'll get a uh, resistance to... All the diseases that's out there in the world, but that would come in just like urine would, as a, a flu shot almost to the kid. So the first time that they latch on and they nurse, that's what they're saying. Like breast milk is probably the best mm-hmm. because it's a natural antibiotic for mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. else around it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. just like with urine too, colostrum. Right, cultures yeah. all over the world drink yeah. their urine mm-hmm. to build up defense mm-hmm. for no, some even let the kids play with their poop and they oh, I, I heard <laughs> breast milk can I cure my pink kid eye doing that one <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. get the bacteria going you know what i mean well just rub your eye no rub your yeah. eye it's not deadly yeah. i think not deadly it's just but not good for kids Pounding on me. Oh. Like <laughs> Nobody yeah, do it in the Omeke, Hey, no. just add in no more. No, go taste good. Oh. If not, you, you, you know, you just make sure you just make sure you use the bathroom every time so you get food. Huh? There you go. Okay. No <laughs> it's all about sustainability. <laughs> <laughs> sustainability. <laughs> the human centipede. Uh. No, 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 no. no, that's horrible. Fuck. That is a horrible. But on the <laughs> no, I was gonna. I was saying, um, breast milk can cure pink eye. Put um, on your eyeball. Yep. Yeah, I heard that too, yeah. Yep. Wow. I think, I don't know what study to quote, but I'm pretty sure. Anything with I your wish eye, I had you know, more pink like, eye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, anything yeah. eye, put that milk. breast milk breast in your milk. eye. I'm going to be like, oh, thank you. Yeah. I, heard, I heard like colostrum and like breast milk has been shown to like dissolve cancer cells. I don't know, man. I've been like internet shit, who knows, but I swear I read yeah. that or heard that somewhere. It's, it's, the, it's supposed to be the... Milk of the gods, bro. Yeah. That's what people yeah. go for is the colostrum, you know? When they're making. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. It's real it's like, thick too yeah. and sticky. Because right. right. my right goats, on. man, that if the baby don't latch, she's not gonna make it. Right. They need that antibodies. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, just like you know, like because you cannot feed a newborn any kind of food or whatever. You know, I mean, you can try bottle feed them and stuff like yeah, that, but. Right Still, if the baby don't latch to the bottles, you know, don't latch to anything, yeah. Yeah, and that's where science tries to yeah. come in and tries to replace that. But right, bro, right. if you're, you're a formula baby, it's pretty much it's gonna be a little bit harder um, yeah. as an upbringing, especially. I mean, nowadays, eh, the science is pretty much coddled people to to succeed right. in, in birth and yeah. everything. Isn't yeah. it? Some some babies are known to like you know the the trigger is touching their cheek, huh. and then. They, Right, you know, right, right. My trigger was I yeah, was hungry. <laughs> no, but so you, you you just touch when <laughs> baby's cheek like that. Yeah. Give me that. They go for him. But some kids don't. Right. They don't have the trigger. That reflex. Uh, and no matter what you try, they're going to be like, I don't know what you mm-hmm. want me to do. Right. Right. Yeah. That's what's hard, too. They don't get that colostrum, yeah. that first yeah. milk. Uh. Oof. Oh. Yeah. I'm a big believer in that. Some people would oh, disagree. Yes. I don't know. We got a no, mom back well, there. I think that's scientifically yeah. proven. I think you know, we were made for this. We were made for this environment that we live in. Uh, so everything we connected with everything. Uh, like yeah. We peel it with everything. Uh, mm. Everything is made for everything. Our, like our shishi, it's good for the plants. Uh, you know, it, it is it's good for super the plants, good. Uh, yeah. And at the same time, we get nice, good fruit, a lot of uh, shade. Yeah. I tell my kids, mix it up when you go in the yard. Don't pee in the same spot every yeah, time. Yeah, like yeah. 100%. <laughs> water it down a little bit. Yeah. Rinse it out. Right. That's good shoot fertilizer. Piss over the shoot the water holes right there. Right. Right. If, if, I don't know, well, growing in, up, my dad was what like, you eat, though. great deal and only deal. You know, that kind. <laughs> Far from now, it's not going to stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rain and, and only, he never let us all over anywhere. Right, right, right. We, we always have to rinse spot. them out after. Pee wherever you yeah, like. Just yeah, make yeah. sure you rinse them out after. It fucking will stink. Oh, like, father, yeah. if you took on big fat PVC pipe, dig on big hole, and put them inside, it's like right there. That's smart, though. <laughs> mini septic tank. Right yeah. there, where everybody knows. Go with them. Once in a while, throw a little bit of sawdust down the puka. Yeah. Uh, throw a fun one top the pipe. Huh? There you go. There you <laughs> Make go. a game out of it. Oh, Shit, no, just no. put a toilet yeah. above that. Then you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> when you stand you put bricks right. over there so guys can different height. Huh? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> It'll build your can bathroom. S- build your bathroom. If you really so gotta see go. how far you can step back away from the pipe and oh, still yeah. get them in. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> putting <laughs> your horseshoes <laughs> to the <laughs> fullest. Huh? New party. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a party stay, but a shishi hole over there. Everybody trained dollars of that. Let's see how far you go back. Oh, he's right there. He's lying with that spray paint. That Six like feet. This guy's fucking amazing. <laughs> Somebody like sneaking around your backyard at night. They don't see him and they step inside their ankle. Go. Back in the day, that would be cool. But today, we stanky get arrested. Yeah. Guaranteed. <laughs> right. get, this guy. He gets a stanky leg. Now, after after oh, yeah, yeah, recording yeah, you. Yeah, this yeah. guy. You catch him on your own ring camera. I'd be like, bro, come on. Respect my arc, you know. <laughs> Oh shit! So what do you think new about new challenge for TikTok of the yeah. cup batch? What do you think about Anu's turtle dove? Awesome, better than bacon. Awesome, fucking knocked it out of the park. First grill. Good job, yeah, congratulations. Try it again, bra. I got the got the, got the bug, bra. First time daddy, first time grower. You fucking killing it, man. Adulting. How are you balancing all this shit at the same time? I, I feel more grounded now. Like everything's more yeah. grounded. Yeah. Rooted. Good shit, man. You look tired. I am, but I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah. How's the storage on your phone, bro? Have you taken so many pictures and videos like and the, shit? The cloud, the cloud. Yeah. Probably watch when you go to Disneyland. That fucking cloud is gone, bro. <laughs> That's the only advice. 765 pictures. Terabytes and terabytes. Yeah. That's the only advice I give to expecting fathers is make space on your phone because you can take choke videos and choke yeah. pictures. So oh, just yeah. make sure you get space because you don't like run out. Make make space for all those looks you have him, bro. Every time I see this guy, he want a different look. Bro, we made fun like <laughs> he's a different nationalities. Every time he showed up, he was Cuban one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, bro, what he can show up? Oh, cause he's doing that Here thing. Here comes Uso Anu, bro, coming around the corner like, what the fuck is like, him and his putteo? What's in here? I trip. You make me grow my hair out again, bro. Bro, dude, that Cuban look fucking was perfect, bro. Yeah. You're just missing that fucking chain, that super tight chain in the hairy chest, bro. Oh, it's hairy chest. It's Not it's even. You know more time bro. for shave. You've never uh? seen hairy chest, guys. You know more time. Do like a uh, uh, Mas Vidal look, but you can do oh. it like on. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. Big 
Get them all braided up, everything, and just fucking you know, clean shavings. Like, oh, the boy band, yeah, Anu. Yeah. You must must be the look. <laughs> fucking Kazakhstan, <laughs> or Dagestan, or where no it? way. Kazakhstan. Yeah, dude, just shave your mustache <laughs> off, leave your beard. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smack! Holy shit. Hey, you're the zigzag man, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Thin angle. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's the we one. have him right there. Yeah. I love that it. That is him. Yeah. You had brought your mustache like this for a little while too, huh? Brought to you by Agu. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to run them, but after a while, I just... Mine's go like all mental. One go down, one go up. No, same here. Can. I got to force that one and <laughs> go all the way, yeah. Choke you got to put spit, wax yeah, yeah. in there. You got to get that <laughs> bees wax. No, I got to get the wax, wax too. But still, that's in crow back. The wax no work good here in Hawaii. Oh, too hot. Should I go San Fran? It's going to be perfect all day no, long. No gosh. wonder. That's that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, you gotta put, oh, yeah, you gotta put egg yolk out. Make it <laughs> <stiff>. <laughs> Let them dry. Yeah. That's how they make the kind of mohawks. Uh, egg egg yolk. yolk. That's <laughs> fucking OG right there, yeah. bro. Or egg white. Yeah, egg yolk. You'll use egg yolk. Yellow is. Yeah, bro, you try to throw egg yolk on, on, on something and try to take them off. After. Frozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true, bro. Yeah. You gotta believe it. You gotta you gotta even the stain is stuck. You gotta stand in the shade at all. Can I go to yeah. the sun, bro? If I'm gonna be a howling, bro. Oh, yeah. Bro. <laughs> thing be ready by lunchtime in Hawaii. Stand like in the scramble sun. eggs. You gotta hold your house together. <laughs> Chow egg. Egg yolk. And ramen. Show me the cracks. So, how was steam throughout the entire career? Like, was it sustainable? Did it dip at times? Like, gigs and traveling and all that stuff. And, second part, where was the craziest place you traveled to? perform mm. it you know there's like these waves for our business as far as if you're just trying to make a living and this your full-time thing you notice that um right before summer it, that's when it starts picking up oh concerts wow. um People celebrating all kinds of stuff. Not graduations. Just, graduations is one of the big ones. Right. Because people still graduate. I mean, uh, doing baby parties, weddings. Um, last night we did one celebration of life. Wow. That felt like, okay, what are we getting into? End up rage. Huh. Mm-hmm. Everywhere we go, I see a lot of people I know already. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, nice exactly. to see friends and yeah, yeah. family. Whatever. I was on the side of the island that we were from on the <laughs> Windward side. Yeah. So, but, um, and then right when the summer gets down, boom, everybody back to school. Boom, Stay business bomb. goes down. In September. It's like tourism, man. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that when you guys go on tour or kind of schedule something off island and go travel or to, to keep busy or you guys just kind of take a break and... Um, you know, wasn't we wasn't that smart like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> or, or as smart as so we, we never we go to school. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, what was the question? No, so like scheduling like, off season for like oh, tours or that. Yeah. Nah, we we was doing that whenever we could, hmm. which was right before the summer. Yeah, happens, yeah, yeah. Right, you get all these. Local kids that go to school on the mainland from Washington, Oregon, California, um, Nevada, Nevada. <coughs> Arizona. Arizona is the main ones, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But the main tree is Washington, um, Oregon, Oregon and, and, and um, California. So if we can score like one in Seattle on one weekend... And, and uh, what I was saying is they hold luau's. Yeah, all, all the all Hawaii of clubs. These schools get Hawaii clubs. Yeah. And they all trying to have the best luau. That's killer. That they can provide. Yeah. yeah. Make, make plans for all the tea leaves we're going to need. Yeah. Call Auntie back home. All the, <laughs> all the banana stumps we're going to need. All the everything. But they go all out. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Um. All the kids in the club, um, they're required to dance. The girls got to learn the girls' dances and hulas. The guys oh. got to learn the guys. They always get somebody for be the MC. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they always try bringing one fat band from Hawaii. You know what I mean? That's you know, cool. Whatever bands they had at that time. And we was one of them that 
we was fortunate enough to have something like that where we do Seattle on weekend. Oregon. Uh, Oregon, um, either the Ducks or the Beavers the next weekend. Whoa. And then the following weekend. California. Uh, somewhere in California, you know, yeah. like San Fran. Santa Rosa. Um, we've done. Irvine. Like, not, not Irvine, but what is our place? Long uh, Beach. UCLA. Oh, shit. Um, USF? Wait. No. You guys ever go down San Diego? Seth. San Diego too, yeah. yeah. Down there. All those parties, bro. That's what's up. A yeah. lot of that, like, Southern so California. Those, that vibe. those would turn into a tour. Right. right. Mm. And try to fill out the dates. And besides that one day, okay, next day. Yeah. That's line them up back to and back. And then summertime and job. And then, but for some reason, then when Halloween come in, yeah. Starts picking up again. Holidays. So and then, uh, short New years. Story. Kinda, yeah. Not, yeah. not too big of a gap. Yeah. Gotta be on the mic. <laughs> you can My grab bad. the mic and bring them towards you if you oh, like sorry, lounge. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting here. No, 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 no. no. I was saying that I think for for me, like we played my whole life too, uh, and I'm uh, doing gigs and stuff, and um. I think it's around like September, October, where if you can score gigs and set those things up like that, especially like Halloween, because it's one, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, November is hard because it's Thanksgiving and then Christmas, Holidays, you know. But yeah. if you can score Christmas gigs, you know, that'd be good. And if wow. get birthdays in November, that's not close yeah, to Thanksgiving. Get, <laughs> you ever get like corporate gigs for like Christmas parties and all that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> He just go over that jam. Read my calendar. Probably. Yeah, he look Probably. over there. He go to the phone, press the address, man. the directions, go. <laughs> and then his other question was go crazy up. or oh. best nuts of spots you guys travel to oh, to play. Oh, down. What is yours? Oh, shoot. Uh, Brad Wayne's house, jamming with natural vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> Dream come true. He, he yes. had a couple good ones so far with us. Oh, yeah. sorry. Just a recent one. Also, like, beautiful wedding over there was... Um, my friends Reynolds and Caitlin. Wedding? Yeah, it was a wedding on the Kaneohe Sandbar in the other morning, June, oh. July twelfth. Oh. This chick, she, this girl, she um looked at the sea level, everything, and got it on the lowest point of the whole year, and it was July twelfth, and it was beautiful, nice. it was so nice. I got to play one of their songs which i had to learn it was kind of tough is a van morrison song into the mystic the one uh john cruz sings yeah and i didn't really well you know yeah, i tried my best uh. yeah. <laughs> either way you know whether the song was gonna come out good or not they still was gonna get married and they did <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so <laughs> thank you for having that it's kind of a lot of pressure having me on that you know i really appreciate them for that too oh, and then they came to uh, uh our gig over there in uh our residency we get sure fire yeah and um, walked up over there. They're like, hey, are you Wayne? I was like, oh, which one? <laughs> and it's like, you. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, my wife, um, when my fiance talked to you about, you know, play for a wedding, we're trying to get a seat in here. I was like, right away, I was like, oh, come inside with us. So yeah. like that boom, we sat down on the table. And um, after the show, they both got back to me to say, you know, we didn't expect it to be like that. You know, we yeah. thought you, just, you guys just play music. But you guys, like, really, like, took it up and we had so much fun you brought us up and dance he called us up you know and i was like oh thank you for coming you know so then i played for the wedding and that was awesome that's cool that's cool that oh, was the girl. craziest place i played right now. i, I like how you said planning. hawaii was the craziest place oh, yeah. man that's yeah. what's all i played for planning good places too but like yeah. one in a million like maybe one in a zillion that was my best um experience awesome. beautiful to sing right there at a wedding you know and she went over oh, the top too with that perfect too because it was kind of like cloudy in the morning like and then by the time everybody you know hawaiian time huh? so they all came from the mainland they was all staying over here her family and then we all got on top of that um whatever that thing is called that boat whatever i forget what it's called that catamaran uh, something like that but <laughs> it took us there yeah. it a floated. pontoon a pontoon there you yeah. go that's the one so two pontoons went over there and then we got off and as soon as the um wedding started the clouds cleared out and the sun was bright 
And as soon as the wedding finished, the pictures, everything was done. I think started clouding out again, and the rain started coming. And we had to rush on top of the pan- pontoons get back. and get back. And by the time we got back, it was drizzling in there. And it was like, oh, God, this is nuts. Yeah, this is blessing. awesome, amazing. You know, like, that was for her. You know, she put manifested a lot of into that yeah. day, and it worked out perfect for them, you know. Yeah. And I was, uh, for me, I was, like, awesome to be a part of that experience of seeing a miracle happen. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I... You that's know, tricky too. manifestations is real you know 100 like, percent. oh yes this is what led me to this point today, i was right? to say that was like ultimate manifestation yeah, really hallelujah guy, you know and hallelujah. Well, it's weird that you know brother right wayne brother right wayne you yeah, know wayne, both bro. diplomas from Kala <laughs> hill high school but went kabuku <laughs> similar love the, the same still working love the tapes, same like, music what? love the same music i think we got the same paperwork twice yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20 years later what the uh, f- this is a sick joke yeah, is, look they got all the same wrong answers <laughs> <laughs> oh but we did win yeah. you guys are sharing the sc- same scantron uh. <laughs> we actually won one week contest yeah Oh, what? I don't know about it. It was on the radio station. And, um, oh, yeah, that last week it was on the radio. Yeah, it was awesome. So I don't. Um, what was high. the name of yours one? What was the thing called? Better Than Bacon. Yeah. Better Than Bacon. Okay, we got to remember yeah, that. Yeah, see, if, if he said something like that, would have been perfect, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it said some weirdness, so it was, was trying like, to look like. Is it, is it a real name or not? Yeah. yeah. But we won. And it was challenging then. Fine colors. 100% perfect. Like was, naming names of strains and guessing if yeah. they was yeah, real or not. Hey, right. None of them I knew. Yeah, yeah because those shits is just made up. Right. But we guessed them all. <laughs> no, but he said one of them was one. right. Yeah, the first one I picked up. Uh, unicorn poop. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Unicorn poop. Yeah, it's one. That's yeah. real. Yeah. I just said yes. He said the ex wife. <laughs> and, and I was, was like, was oh, he looked at me. He's like, what? What do you think? I said, you know what? We'll just give her the benefit of the doubt. I said, yes. <laughs> And he's ding, okay. Yeah, thing they need, we won. Yeah, but you oh, right. Man. I think he and let us win. I, mean, I think he and let us win. Straight up a woman. Huh? I mean, there's <laughs> just like, there's so many crazy names. Okay, what about this one? Hurt. Better than bacon. Is it real or not? <laughs> yeah, the turtle just, grew it. The turtle know, does yes. grew it. Real. Yes, it is real. Back in the day, never had no names like that. Right. Sixth his shoulder. That was how What's it was up? growing up. It was like, <laughs> you know, hash bods. Elephant. Elephant. Uh, skunk. Colombian. Uh, the Conago, the, the Maui Waui, <laughs> yeah, stuff electric. like that. But no. Duck feet. Off yeah. the wall. The duck feet was that's like one. That's what the that, hell is this? Yeah. You know, like the sour diesel started coming <laughs> in. The OG yeah. Kush after that. What? Growing up listening to these guys' music, that's my smoking favorite. the OG Kush. Oh. Sour diesel. Yeah, diesel. Anything <laughs> diesel. 12 years I was looking for that bad boy. I finally found it. Any any um yeah. dispensary we used to go to in the mainland. First thing I, I, I got and I gotta use my nose and the smell. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's not diesel. Turn on. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Oh, yeah. 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 You smell them inside. The it's just like pins, it, it pinpoints it right there to what it is. I like, yeah, that's it. I say, not out talking to you, your spiritual yeah. self. Even though they go in a back rub or not a prepackaged thing yeah, and bring them to you, and then it's like. Let me see this. Okay, I smell so plastic. <laughs> yeah, you you so try for call him on this shit. Like, it's not my first it. time, guys. You gotta <laughs> sniff the plastic bag smell first, and then you gotta bring everything else. I, smell everything else I tried, I just got disappointed. <laughs> that's the With that's diesel. the whole business behind it. You know what I mean? Not yeah, not yeah. to disappoint, but like there's so much red tape that from farmer to store. By the time it hits the store, it's fucking outdated already. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's good to know even, a farmer, bro. Right. Cannot even touch him either. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I they got a test too, yeah. And you, I already get them straight from the grow. And you know, like back in the day, you know, you guys from Haula. What buds never come out with mold in Haula back in the day? We, Almost every buds, we just cannot see the mold. Fuck them, we smoke yeah. them. We never grow that no. much weed, but I know the rats used to take our buds. The yeah. little coco, I can't feel that. Yeah. that. So like, hey, where the buds there? Was right over here. Boom, they don't. You see them behind the ice box eating. <laughs> 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 Fred took them. You, you think the uh, moldy <laughs> weed was stony? Uh, honestly, yeah. yeah it, it's like know. in a Disney movie when they eat that weird shit they shouldn't have and they trip <laughs> balls. That's why, because yeah. you're almost dying. Yeah. That's why it's fucking stony. Because he ate stony. too much. He's supposed to <laughs> Fuck, I'm here today. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's eating purple yeah. elephants because yeah. you're dying, right. son. Don't, don't do drugs. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do drugs. Just smoke the ganja. Don't do mold, man. Don't, don't do, do mold. mold. But no one knew about it, right? Oh, man, so yeah, for real. Like, you got headaches. You wonder why, like, oh, man, this weed is not. So, like, yep. Now, it, like, when I see modes, when I see them, like, okay, I'm not smoking this. Yeah. 
is bugging it. Or even if it's like not washed out good, you know, with yeah. the fertilizer, so you can instantly yeah. tell. Boom, when you hit them, you're like, oh, never mind. I don't like this. You know, I like the clean, good the, stuff. In the know? 80s, mid 80s, or early 80s, actually, had an issue with white flies. Mm hmm. Overrun with the fruit fly. The fucking know, baggy, get white flies in the bottom of the bag. Horrible, bro. <laughs> In the, bag? Oh, yeah, in the bag, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you can see them catch them once in a while. Yeah. The thing is that that's the eggs, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. it could be all kinds lace, of shit, yeah. man. It could be like yeah, yeah. feces, the actual white right. fly themselves, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah, but you know, I and this is my honest right. opinion. I'll say this the day I die. I rather smoke bugs than chemicals. Right. Yeah. Like if someone has a bugged out garden, like shit, I'll I'll smoke your shit. <laughs> if, right. if I knew you're pumping <laughs> it with some crazy stuff. Dude, that's spraying. How, that's how we all got addicted. How do you know that? The, <laughs> how do you know that, that that stuff is in there? What's that? Sprays and stuff. Yeah. Well, how do you know it gets stuff in there? Well, you can normally you, you can them. taste them yeah. right off the bat. And, and the um, black, the black ashes. The black ash. Yeah. You know what I can tell too. The black the, ash. The sparkling. The, the sound of the cherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's when seed that. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not the, the seed. The seed. Then you smell the seed. Yeah. That oh, firecracker. <laughs> Scary, bro. Or Tiny coconut. That right yeah, some of the seeds they just. Tiny coconut. And get that taste to them because like, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's what people Ruin ask. Like, what else is in this joint? Why is this thing crackling so much? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, sorry, I do not know. <laughs> I know like that. I never no. know I was breeding. You know. Yes. <laughs> and bugs. Powder. This flies. Oh, yeah. That's why it's called gunpowder, <laughs> right? <laughs> and a lot of the sprays is oil based, huh? so yeah. when you hear that sizzle, that's like oil heating up. Oh yeah, Do oh yeah. Bro, mm. oh, honey bro. joint with yeah. hash, keef, and weed inside. Right. <laughs> uh, super you have to keep lighting that thing every time. If I'm to a point where I'm I'm growing and like I see buds going and there's bugs. Yeah. Whatever already, I'm not gonna touch them. I'd rather the bugs Eat that overrun time, them yeah. than. Me trying to correct that, yeah, because yeah. fuck power already. Do you yeah, keep yeah. it like and hope for the best, or do you just trash them already? Hope for the best, but like I try to like check flu shots, right? So yeah, I yeah. try to put in the soil something that would trigger the plants to have a natural resistance to bugs. Mm -hmm. So I keep that in the soil at all times. So when the plant is there in that pot, immediately it's like, oh shit, there's bugs. I make a fucking natural resistance right, to right, it. Right. So if there's bugs going on when flower is happening, I'm kind of confident that the quality of the weed is not going to drop too much. The yield might drop, but the quality of the weed is still going to be intact. I just kind of like let it run. And oh, you quarantine that motherfucker? No, that's all flower, so that, those are done. Main thing, my other room's clean. I can still yeah, keep it going. Can't those bugs spread to other plants that are not infested yet? But if you owl out before you go into one room and you keep that one room in direction, so you work in that one room first after you shower, and then you go out to the other room that's infected, so you keep that funnel of going in one no, but I mean in this second room where it is that infected plant is can't that spread to other plants in that room yeah so for instance I get an indoor at my house yeah. right and then that is pumping out plants for my farm right so my farm gets infected I'll never backtrack anything back to my house yeah when I go home, I'm showering before I even go into that room. No, but you, aren't you running the risk of like all of it going to waste because the bugs get all that shit? Nah, that's, and that's, it happens too over time. Yeah, you, you'll lose everything. I'm like fuck. Whole risky business. Whole. Hey, makes you question your yeah, faith in like God. Like, <laughs> it's like fuck. This is like ten like, years down the drain. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right, we've been going for about an hour. You guys uh, want to take a short break, stretch our legs? Yeah. 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 Shoots. Yeah. And we're back from a short, 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 short Mimi break. Baby short. <laughs> short attack. So we got to get back to the question we asked, but didn't get an answer for. Oh, for me, on mine, yeah. He yeah, said for, his one yeah. out in a sandbar. On the sandbar. Um, I guess I have, I have a lot of memorable ones, mm -hmm. you know, and you saying which one is the best? Yeah. The most radical, they said. I think that was the word, though. Um, radical. You know, like. A band from Hawaii, yeah, uh, and then we have like our first big break in the mainland mm -hmm. at a big festival, like one of the biggest festivals at the time. Reggae on the river. Oh, NorCal. Yeah, that was like the the peak of all the festivals. You know, there's a lot of festivals happening at the time as well, but not on the level of the reggae on the river. Right. Right. As far as showcasing different reggae bands and all that shit. That and just the level of production. Mm -hmm. 
and how they take care of you and hmm. the whole the vibe they set for the entire thing is like oh super bro especially for the artists right yeah right. is that why you guys wrote that song Reggae on the river yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. and we kind of got lucky to, to go there because um you know i um, just had the hokus yeah last night mm-hmm. okay. yeah and back in 89 no no 80 98 98 sorry and 98 the, was the first hokus that featured the reggae album oh really that late that's some history lesson yeah because they, they actually was doing that thing a long time yeah that, that right. this this award ceremony and it was mostly hawaiian based entertainment mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and to put reggae on there was like radical right and somehow we won that that one the first ever one the first ever one oh i guess the producer we had at the time Put put it in for us. If if it was left up to us, wouldn't that happen? No shit. Sure <laughs> you know what I mean? But he entered it, and we was up against like um, this group called Sly Dog. Oh, I know Sly Dog. I remember Sly Dog. Um, uh, sorry, I forget all of them, but one of them, the main one that I was like ready to be like clap for these guys, they're gonna win, was Kino. From Big Mountain. Oh yeah, never heard. Hey, of you know Kino from Big Mountain? No. Yeah. You know Big Mountain? No. Mm-hmm. You never heard of Big Mountain? Oh, never. Ooh, baby, I yeah. love yeah. you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Every day. They had a that, that's actually a like remake, remake yeah. Priest, right. That kind of from Oswald, right? <laughs> Oswald. No. That's not that's an Oswald. I think it's Cat Stevens or yeah. one oh, yeah, of those right. artists from way back. But didn't Oswald do a cover of that also? I could be wrong on the Cat Stevens. No, you're right. Cat Stevens, hundred percent. And uh. Internet guys, what you call? He said, "Fuck you." No. <laughs> um, uh, what you call? Right away, I lost track of what I was saying, man. That's a good break, man. Who? Who? who uh, look, yeah. it was Kino. Kino. Oh yeah, from Kino Big from Big Mountain. He came here. I guess big budget. At the time, you to 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 put together to put together an album was like fifteen grand. You would need. Oh. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Around there, to, just to make the album. Like the so he came folder. here, and he did it. He did a collab with, I think, Henry Capono, Robbie Akakalao, Jeff Ashmishman. I think Fiji was another one. Not us. He never even know us. Yeah. Um, but oh, we do that, his album that he collabed and made was entered as well. Okay. And I was thinking, yep. Yeah. He's got it. Get ready. And as they said, natural vibes, I was like, wow. That's made. Trip. So now do you believe the voting process works? or? I don't even know how we got it. <laughs> I don't know how we got it. Well, it just... I think it's all rigged, though. But I... He's not from Hawaii, though. So huh? He's not from Hawaii, yeah? Who? Kino. He just Kino is here. from San Diego. Oh, See? Shit. And they based out of San Diego. So anyway, this this thing that he did, this album that he did, mm. um, he knew the promoter of Reggae on the River well. Mm-hmm. And she wanted, like, yeah, the Hawaii local kind of thing. And Kino got this thing going, and, and he's supposed to have done this slot, not us. But we never even noticed. All we knew is someone gave us the information. We called. They said, send it. Send us your promotional pack to this address. So you have to we, physically mail them. So have to make the pack <laughs> physically mail them, but I we decorate them with all kind of like um, uh, Hawaiian tattoo patterns, top up patterns, yeah. kind of like uh, hokuleas and sailing ships and kind of uh, what's that? You know, like um, petroglyphs. <laughs> petroglyphs. Anything Hawaii? I thought we were just drawing them. I thought all over the thing right, just right. for. Just forget that thing. Catch Notice. Eye, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And uh, probably ended up in a huge pile of, the, of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and we weren't supposed to be on it, but for some reason, um, Kino was slotted. 
but then he had to pull out. But they wanted something, and they was like, we're "Not this bad, okay." They they put us on that ticket without even asking us. Oh no! Nah. They told you, you guys on. <laughs> no, uh, the, the you know who um Ira Dan that does the Cali Roots Fest. Mm-hmm. We met him that day at that show, and that's a whole nother story. But uh that was an awesome experience for me too, Cali Roots Festival. When did yeah. you guys say that? Just recently. Oh, yeah, we just did it in May. That was awesome. Where was that one at? Uh, that's in. Monterey. Monterey Bay. Oh. Monterey Bay. Yeah. They feature a lot of Hawaii artists on huh? Cali Roots. Because Dan, the organizer, mm-hmm. is from Ever Beach. No shit. He went to oh. Campbell High School. Fuck. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that explains yeah. a lot. It does. It does, actually. <laughs> That's why it's so awesome. <laughs> Hawaii spreading out. Yeah, but... Uh, that's cool, You're keeping everybody in the loop, though. Because there's always one or two local bands that are on the Cali Roots lineup. And I like that they live stream it now so you can watch it from home. Yeah. That's cool. That was awesome. Yeah. Cali Roots had that kind of Ellie Mac. Ellie Mac mm-hmm. Mike Love. Did he go this year? Oh, yeah. Mike yes. Love did. Yeah. Yeah. Did you watch his set? No. I think it's like you could see him on YouTube, too. He is yeah. an, he's another level because he's a level <laughs> above levels. Been watching this weekend. He playing yeah. Saturday yeah, with this concert. Oh, oh right on. Yeah. You went or are you where, going? Where, where is this? Where is this? Uh, Hello, Tower. Get oh, wow. Mike Love, Look at Jordy, and the. Oh, green. that's right. Yeah, I see the. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You told us about that. Yeah. This Saturday. Oh, yeah. Did you see his set at Cali Roots? No. Oh, but I think it's on. You can pull him up on YouTube and watch him. I didn't his see set for sure. He's an this entertainer, one, that guy, oh, man. Yeah. Past ones I've watched. Unreal. That's cool, though, that they allow it to be out there for that, like, on the internet right. shit. But for us to be on that uh, Cali Roots back, that was 2000 when yeah. it happened. And we just came out with the album, Getting High. So that was, like, our third album. So just that was playing that. Just like, for us to play that festival. Was like, mm-hmm. And we was, like, first band up, same as, like, what we did for Cali Roots. Yeah. Who's the first band up Saturday <laughs> that morning. That was awesome, though. We wake up everybody up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Start them off yeah, right. Got them going right. Well, guys. Both times. So speaking of getting high, watch this, guys. Speaking of getting high, when was the first time you got high? Ten years old. Wayne T. Ten years old. <laughs> Ten years old. Tell us the story. Like, what was it like? Like, oh, how did you feel? Ten. That's it. My, my, I think my sister stole weed from my dad. Oh, and no. I stole weed from my sister. There you go. That's how and it happens. My friend had a pipe. We went in the bushes over there. And then we threw him in the pipe. I don't know if we got stoned or what, but we was hungry. We could eat. It was laughing. And, yeah. and it was my first experience, and it was fun, yeah. But um, it was, a, you know, now, from then to now, you know, it was a long journey. All yeah. that smoking, getting high, smoking choke joints in one day, you know, to now it's more just, you know, when my body tells me I need it, I need it. But this, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, more so that, but mm. set the mind straight and, you know. Inspire, yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of that comes with like education. Now we live in a different yeah. era where stigmas are broken, and it's like, you know, yeah. so your grandmas, your grandpas are fucking taking it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a little more accepted. However, there's still people that are kind of, oh yeah, uptight right. about it. Yeah, I think uh, for for me, I wouldn't want my kids to start this early, that mm-hmm. early either. Mm-hmm. You know, and um. But at the same time, if there's medical situations that they need it for, then yeah, all for sure, you know, go through those things, uh, take right. whatever you can, you know, mushrooms, yeah. all that, you know, yeah. and whatever. CBDs, Plant medicine, bro. CBDs. You know, okay. I feel like it started with that. That's like what kind of broke the barrier down for like cannabis in general with like the older generation who grew up on reefer madness and the fucking right. negative stereotypes. Like, seeing the benefits of CBD for their ailments in their age and being like, oh, okay, and then, like, what else then? And that opened the door to, like, more people being accepted. Yeah. Just the goddamn government needs to take it off that Schedule 1 so that there can be actual scientific research and tests done to prove the shit that everybody's been saying all this time. They got it modified so well. Yeah. 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 So well. And, you know, a lot of it, like, foreign countries do have research. 
the U.S. don't adopt their research as credible unless we do our own independent research. Right. But can't. But we won't because there's a fucking red tape. But yeah, you know can't. What I mean? Well, you're not allowed to, right? It's Schedule one drug. Well, Federal I mean, government they do don't do cocaine allow studies. Right. How would you? Yeah, say but not how it's good for you. <laughs> how would you say your kid was? Eight and five. Oh, eight and five. So yeah. two more years is gonna be ten. Yeah, that's what you said. Ten. Ten yeah. years old. Yeah. And my son is uh, 11. He's going to be 12. So I'm like, wow. Oh, when you God. look at him and you think about when you started, could you see? Oh, no, because we had a different upbringing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. You know, my, my, I mean, I, my parents were there. You know, My sister was there for us a lot, too, growing mm-hmm. up. And, and times was rough. That's that uh, crystal meth epidemic went run through yeah, when we were young. So right. it's right. like right. a 90s we, we in Hawaii. The, yeah. the lost boys of the kind of Peter Pan. Like that. <laughs> was kids making clubhouses everywhere and just, you know. <laughs> doing our own shit, coming home at like 1 a.m. in the morning, all drunk, 13 years old, learning. but play music throughout the whole time, you know, listening to these guys party, going to their gigs, watching and them slam. A lot of that was um, us acknowledging our parents' shortcomings with right. drugs. Right, yes, exactly. You know what I mean? So, like, I understand it's that. kind of a blessing in a sort of sense. Oh, they took it on the chin for us. Definitely. And now look at, like, our culture. Right. It's herb, right. you know, more of, like, a holistic he, mindset yeah. coming into yeah. things yeah because we've seen how that thing messed us up you know even with the like the canned goods making right. and everything the baby boomers years and stuff like that like mm-hmm. everything just came out and it was working on a military uh, you know building a military uh. yeah and, uh, and, and what they got to the, you know the modification of how we gotta go work every day and do this do yeah that, do this and put it put in the corner under certain illegal things that they just made up and if you don't know the wormhole to them or you don't know, understand the language or the lingo then you get your fuck you know yep. what I mean like, I tell that to a lot of people like oh yeah there's a there's a uh, a law coming out like okay I'll go read it and like right. I don't know what the fuck I just read exactly. sorry there has to be a loophole in every single word you know what I mean you gotta really mm-hmm. it, but... which is the system in full effect you right. know nice they could be like the Matrix, right? Like, <laughs> let's just make it fucking clear and present. What What's your intention in this bill? Yeah. All right, but it's like, okay, here's this word. Oh, wait a minute. What are you What are you getting at? Because you use right. this verbatim. Like, fuck, right, man. Right. For real, let's just keep it simple. Like, right. like the cow jumped over the moon. You know, like, <laughs> the, the sky is blue. Right. Exactly. All right. Cool. I can get Simple around that. that. Yeah. Unreal. Mm-hmm. Eight. Weed, weed is good Eight. for you. Eight. 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 Wow. We've actually had a lot of guests have started ding, ding, pretty ding, young. Eight. <laughs> Veteran. Same way, mm-hmm. but was not my parents. Never had, never do well, that yeah. at all. Yeah. But my brothers and sisters. Burning out. We need to try somebody. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Everybody in my family, because I'm the youngest. They all was burning. And you like follow along, eh? Follow along what the big kid's doing. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took the hit. Only for follow and then my basis. sister made me one sandwich, one one turkey sandwich. Mop of the best sandwich in the Not world. Not even, bro. You know, you get cut in mouth. I couldn't even swallow him, bro. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even swallow. And then the giggling like that. Everybody, ah! Right out of my days, huh? And then that made me giggle more, too. I was like, hey! You got a mouthful of turkey sandwiches. Ooh, laughing, going right. on. Yeah. 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 Like a 7 Eleven yeah. sandwich and you forget for grab mayonnaise. Uh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, it's going to be dry. 1 30 in the morning, coming home, cut them out, eating bread. Uh. <laughs> well, only that one time. Eight years old. <laughs> no more crunch. And then not until like seventh grade, maybe? Mm. What is that? What age is that? That's like what? Honestly, that's where everybody like 12, starts. Yeah. 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 Uh, eight grade is like 14, right? So 12, 13. Yeah, but prior to that, no. And even then, it was kind of like Mackie. You know, he's not, the little kids don't get the good stuff yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You smoke your roaches. Up, <laughs> $40 bags was like Leaves, what, um, half ounce kind of. Oh, yeah, you oh, get yeah. 20 sack, Brad. Fuck it. Last year, you're all weekend. 30 something seeds inside, uh, too. Squaw. You and your friends. <laughs> the first time I found hash bugs, my brother had them. I took one little piece so he wouldn't know. You know the soda can pipe? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that soda can pipe? Yeah. I invented that, guys. No <laughs> shit. In my uh, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> no one told me nothing. <laughs> So there's a shrine to you if that's the case. 
Nah. We're coming down Cunier well. Road. We jump on the freeway. <laughs> if you look in the median, there's a you know those dope pineapple juice cans. Yeah. Yeah. Bruh, full on. Get the little dent with the yeah, holes yeah, yeah, and yeah, the yeah. fucking car. I was like, bruh. Well, it's on yeah. the road. Somebody in fly what they car yeah. Look like. Yeah. Oh, well, I, go just, pull I just made it out of necessity. Oh, yeah. Like, I need something. Oh, no but paper, but the yeah. amount I took. How are we going to do this? You know what I mean? Can I roll this? Okay, and then we was in, back then, we was really into, like, uh, recycling cans and stuff like that. So, right, right there, a can. Had uh, My mom had a bulletin board with all the bulletin. The thumbtacks. The thumbtacks. That he <laughs> buck, 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 made the thing. Bingo. It, no YouTube video to show me how to do that, bro. Just stoner ingenuity, bro. Yeah. I think right when I did them, the, the vibe went out and everybody knew. There you go. See, you're not only a talented musician, everybody you're know. an innovator and an engineer. Yes. My greatest invention. <laughs> update the Wikipedia. Update the Wikipedia. Update that, bro. Take whoever's <laughs> name is on there and put it with Wayne Enos. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the of the can pipe. I never yeah. get to the good yeah. part. I never get yeah. to the good part. Guys. You gotta go. What brand was? It was like Sprite or something. Ooh, like that. I know it was on green cola. can. It was on green can. It was wasn't like red. Cola. Wasn't red. So yeah. But uh, uh, what you call? Get you the kind of was Seven Up or Sprite? <laughs> one of them. One of those ones. But hit that thing, bam. The thing, uh, <coughs> the thing I never think of was the carburetor. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. not my innovation on this <coughs> invention. The carburetor was in me, but that was like, oh yeah, I was just was just cranking it right out of the fucking street, no problem. You get it does the job. Yeah. Oh yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, and if somebody else can show me how you can take the tab. And you break them on certain way, and if you know if you don't have a needle, yeah, yeah you can do something to the tab. They gonna make one perfect. I mean, bunch holes sharp. inside. Bo -bo -bo -holes. I was like, oh yeah. If you ever got weed and no fucking no can, Wayne Tech it. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Just Wayne Tech it. Oh yeah, we can go on and on with what what we made pipes out of. Inventions and apparatuses you oh, discovered. I never created. really smoked killers until I found this. Yeah. And that one hit I took was just like, you know how when you hear that, yes. And then the, 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 the finally tune in the tunnel vision, yeah. And you just, I was riding my bike, but I had to like stay still. Stop, stay still. <laughs> Whoever watching is like, what's wrong with this kid? <laughs> high as a what? motherfucker on the side of the road. <laughs> <high. laughs> That's when everybody, the guy across the street, was, hey, man, was, everyone knows you're high. <laughs> yeah. In this day, people be filming you. Look at this fucking kid. Let's throw this kid a Musa B. Catch. <laughs> catch. Why? He's like that. Thank you so much. You catch it without yeah. even looking. Fuck yeah, I was Shaolin. That Musa yeah. B hungry Wink. enough. Oh, bro. And then Shame when I kind of, when I lost the buzz, I was like staring up at on coconut tree Ooh. in someone's yard that I didn't know <laughs> in La Ie. Was Mormons too, so they never say nothing. I was looking at me, but they, they never like, say nothing. This guy. It's like, see, see, this is why we go church. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, go get him after Plano. <laughs> mean. That's funny. Oh, I love those kind of stories. Oh, man. But yes. Good weed stories. But so. thinking about it now, and you get the kids our age nine, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. There's no struggle with them, though. Huh? You know, yeah. there's no struggle with, right. the, with the the almighty phone. It's like, right. fuck, I got the munchies. And us, we teach them too. You know, like what about marijuana and stuff like that? Yeah. Too, and the benefits of it. You know? Yeah, so yeah. They grew up in a whole different world than we did. Yeah. Yes. And the, but the you education that, yeah. that they're getting now from parents who you know use cannabis right. is different than the education we grew up with where it was like dare don't fucking do it it's right. the gateway drug stay away from all drugs you right. know and, and this shit which kind of opened the door to like what the fuck are they talking about let me check this shit right. out you know what i mean yeah. it was almost like the wrong way that's why right. doing it like this mm -hmm. is kind of uncomfortable for me oh yeah yeah you know what i mean i'd rather be hiding out. your house chilling yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean or in a car or someplace in a bed but filming Discreet is uh, the best way. And we're live. Yeah. It's a, it's kind of like, um, 
We just never did that. Yeah. I mean, you grew up the we OG, never, you know? A lot of people know us for what we do. It wasn't from us posting. Right. We, us guys doing them like Chichin right? yeah. It like was always crazy. like we knew in what it was lyrics, about. Yeah. yeah. In the lyrics, you heard some songs talk about it. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. not. Overtly. Oh, you look at our albums. Yeah. And nothing says weed. Right. You don't have leaves Except on Except Getting cover. High, our album. We, we, I we, mean, we, even we, like Mary high. Jane. Like it's. It, yeah. you, you're referring to a woman, yeah. but it's it could be taken as yeah. you're just using it that euphemism to be like yeah, 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 yeah. in your window mysterious. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah, I like that. It's like bands yeah. that write love songs. It sounds like it's a love song. It's, like it's about a it. chick, but it's actually about the one band member who's addicted to cocaine. Well, what was True. that song? <laughs> um, <laughs> like, leave that bitch alone. <laughs> Uh, eight days a week by the Beatles. Yeah, it was about weed. He was talking about weed. Yeah. Uh, he loves her eight days a week. And then the uh, Lucy in the Sky with the oh, There's a lot of LSD. that. Like, Sweetly from Ozzy Osbourne. Right. It's weed, man. Like, well, yeah, that's, he's that's coughing weed. in the intro. Green you know? Harvest by Natural Vibration. Yes. Weed. It's a theme. Someone re- requested uh, <laughs> "Weed the People" the other night. Yeah, oh, yeah. did you hear it? No. Is it we the people? I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> Who's connection to O'Connor Road? So, our original drummer, the yeah. I was talking about, Cole, he married this girl, N- Nalani Macariola, and they lived in Kahalu on O'Connor Road at her family's house. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Cole can correct me if anything, but. At that time, it, they was all living there, and her brother was the bass player, mm-hmm. Keone. Mm-hmm. Her other brother was Keaton, Suk Suk Butu Butu Suk Suk. Oh, okay, okay. Percussionist, yeah. So when we started, it was more of a family band. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was kind of new to this family friends, and then, then they had they had plenty of friends too, mm-hmm. and fifteen oh, but, or but, one. But, <laughs> But half the band is actual brothers or, or brother-in-law. Right. Yeah, and, and their sister and Koa, yeah, she was our manager too. Mm, mm. And both of them was keeping us, like I said, in line with God is the leader. Right. You know, and, and they ran things for like five years. No shit. Yeah. In Okana. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't even recorded our first album. No shit. Yeah. So that song is like a tribute so to them. And so her mom's family is from O'Connor Road mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. there. They had actually more land, but they sold off a lot of their land. No shit. Yeah. That's a beautiful spot that's tucked away. No one really oh, knows yeah. about, bro. It was nice. Yeah. When we first started practicing and playing there, that whole stretch of Kaikili Highway from... From uh, hygienic to f- maybe you know the chocolate factory over there, you know the the, 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 the yeah, fucking yeah, sewage plant, <laughs> yeah, 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 the chocolate side, right? Yeah, yeah, over there. That's I think that's where the lights went in, and then the rest never have lights, never have street lights, never have that green stop light there at uh, O'Connor Road now, yeah. never have nothing. It was black as can be. Oh well, that's all. Good fun party, yeah. like that. <laughs> Just pull over. Good fun. Oh. Where'd you guys record and the first to, album? Oh, sorry. Um, was in. My bad. No, not even. Um, we um recorded our first album in Haula at Gordon Broad Studio. Gordon Broad. Um, it was called Moon Surfer Studio. No shit. So for me, it was like, wow, I'm from Haula, you know what I mean? And yeah. the studio we're going to is Moon Surfer. Where was it located? That's some cool name in itself Haula. for real, yeah. Where in Haula? Like, I, I couldn't picture it. Uh, uh, homestead, but more right past the, um, you know, the Haula Park. Yes. And then you know where Haula Bowls stay? The surfers, Haula Bowls. Yes. Like okay. Haula. Okay, before you reach Haula Bowls, that last road. Haula I don't know the name of the street. No, that's the one going up by the guy get the job with this uh, church. <coughs> area. Yeah, the thing curving and go yeah, up yeah, on yeah, steep yeah. hill. Go up steep hill, the thing go connected. But before you go up that steep hill, Gordon Broad had on 
um, studio over there. I think he's known for writing Sweet Lady of Waihole. No shit, I huh? I think so, yeah. I think so. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta check my facts again. <laughs> Turtle Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, facts, facts. Yeah, so that's where our first recording at. No click track. Um, it's the only album Kua did with us. Mm-hmm. And after that album came out and the, 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 we started to get more success, he had to choose between a hey, job. <laughs> right. right. Okay, so he's, um, he's still a full-time lifeguard. No shit. County. Yeah. And at the time, too, um, jet skis was a new thing. Right. It was a new department, new kind of exciting thing, and he was a part of it. Oh, so right I was like, boys, I got to do it. So he's one of the first ones that jet ski rescues then. Yeah. That's that kind of stuff, yeah. Training, everything, and, and actual out there doing the job. Yeah. Riding around in the truck, pulling the, the, the thing at it, just patrolling and stuff like that. But uh, in in <coughs> sorry, I was talking about Okina Road. Okana, yeah, back to Okana, Okana back to Okana, Okana Road. Yeah, Road. like My bad. um Again. that property that and where Auntie was allowing us for make this all happen. That's why we claim from Okana Road. The band is from Okana Road, but we get guys from. Manalo, Kailua. That's where the Kahalu came from, then Okana Road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then, you know, I'm from Haula. I mean, you know what I mean? So, all from the windward side. Mm-hmm. And, but, but, but the band came from. That's so fucking That was Kahalu, the spot. Kahalu. And she was just letting us do what we like, have a good time, party, buddy. But if we back it up, that uh, Keaton, uh, Keone and Kua and Nalani, their grandfather um, was his own pastor. He was pastor of his own little church. Church right there. Right, 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 right. Kahalu Christian Church. No shit. Right there. <laughs> and, and we was first practicing in that room, the actual chapel. No way. Like he built his own chapel. Had all the long benches for everybody sit, you know, that kind of, had the organ in the corner. So their mom used to always play the, the organ and she used to like ukulele and mm-hmm. their father too is into it like that too. Eh? So that's how they was getting into it. Mm. Yeah. But not like, oh, we're going to make musicians out of you just because they love it. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? They were already interested they weren't, they into weren't it. professional musicians, you know what I mean? They just was, we love music. Yeah. We buy all the books with all the words. And they, Going back to, like you said, they just like Sukuma. to play. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Rock in the day, I was like, jam. And then letting us do that was like going pure joy for them, man, for watch. Yeah? Right, right. Free and concert. auntie, her and her husband, Uncle Lester, lived upstairs. And her brother and... Uh, his wife lived downstairs, mm. and they had little kids at that time. And one of their girls, uh, Jasmine, um, she ended up being in the band um, Kolohe Kai. She's the girl. Oh, no shit. Yeah, that one. The girl that's always <laughs> there, Kolohe Kai, that's um, their cousin, their first cousin. Uh, oh, wow. Keith and them's first cousin. Oh, fuck. This is Hawaii. I mean. <laughs> this is Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trippy. Everybody stay close knit. Yeah, I, I yeah. Know, I think so. Me and him were related because where I, where uh, my grandmother's land property is in like yeah. Um, I related to all of them over there. And then uh-huh. he was like, "Hey, this is my uncle." I related to him to the kind of about guarantee. You never uh, date within Haul or Kahuku. Oh, bro. Nah, everybody all inside, related you know? already. If I, you get Hawaiian blood, yeah. If you get Hawaiian blood, well, that's that island. Yeah. Chances, Careful. Chances are you related. Yeah. So, yeah. You know what I mean? May not be on close relation, but I can pay a bit with cousin. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> down the line, bro. Yeah. When you go be like fucking sure family reunions, like, <gasps> yeah. oh shit, I date her because she's beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. It never so, happened. I'm just talking hypothetical. Yo, Don't give sure, me that sure, look, sure, man. Sure, sure. He's like, 
No, yeah, for real, like, had happens, that problem. Yeah, but if you know it's happening, then it's like, that's a different story. You know, it's hard on that side. You know, that's the ask my dad, that who's this person? Or that? That's a cause of oh, shit. Fuck yeah. that. You got double, triple yeah. check, bro, yeah, just yeah, to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Like, oh, but uh, look at those. <laughs> yeah, look at those. Oh, fuck. Look like mine. You sure? <laughs> Damn it. What if you no, like ten? No, no, look like yours. Look deep. like mine. You also look like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Mike said, what if you're already 10 years deep? Yep, then you find out you're and related. And then you find out. You oh, fuck. <laughs> like, how Should've... close is the relation at that point? Fucking 10 years. No, no, no. Like, between yeah. the spouse. Well, I don't know. We Should have known. You would know I, it's far, your first cousin. Well, I mean, if, if you had like, a baby already, on the fir- first, second year, you'd know he knows on the <laughs> defect. In the yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> What's you know, wrong with this kid? Uh, What's going on with this kid? kid? Am I the real? F- yeah, you are. Who's ever who? you? You end up on Mari. Like, like, say blah, blah. Oh shit! Hey, yeah, that's okay though. You know, love is you know love is the main thing. Uh. I just <laughs> I always like fucking it, any girl. I was like, where are you from? Hula. Oh, but I'll yeah, drop yeah, my yeah, last yeah, name, yeah, my Hawaiian yeah, last yeah, name, yeah. and be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, what's up, cuz? Well, even. Uncle Wayne, bruh, my family from Hola, you never recognize my last name over there, too. So it's like... Yeah. Takimoto. It, there's Takimoto, yeah, uh, Kana Ana. Yeah, yeah, I know all those, yeah. Yeah, I, that's I all my cousins, yeah, bruh. Yeah. I grew up with Kana Ana or Kana Ana. From Kauku. Kana Ana. Kana Ana. Yeah. I get those in I Kauku. Kana Ana. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I grew up with them, too. Yeah. Cousin Cassie. Um, uh, I know Patrick Kana Ana. Oh, okay. it's Patrick, the kind. Sorry, Takamoto. Takamoto. Uh, Kenneth. And yeah, Kenneth is my cousin. Yeah, Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I grew up with them actually. Went Did to you school say Kalil? Cynthia and uh, me are the same age. Yeah. No, not Cynthia. Um, Christina. Oh no, Christina shit. and um, me are the same age. Bro, we just had a family reunion. Mark the timestamp just in case you gotta yeah, beep out any of these last last names, huh? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, we're fine. We're in conversation. Yeah, Kalili is my my grandma. <laughs> Oh, my grandma says Khalili. Yeah. Nice. So the whole of church. Yeah, yeah and Khalifa there. too. Mm. Yeah. 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 My, actually, my baby mama is on Khalili. Oh, <laughs> shit. For yeah, real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. See, it's a small island. You yeah, fish exactly, long yeah. enough. You can make it. Well, I mean, mm. for all the way. mainland people who listen and watch, like, this is a typical right, right. Hawaii conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes. You know, also, right, I know, right. yeah. Cousins, yeah, cousin, yeah. Well, yeah, the kind, yeah, yeah, the kind, oh, yeah. So you baby mama's yeah. proud, you know. My kids are healthy. Thank you for them, you know. They take yeah. care, but we all graduate Kobuku. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where you guys? Pro City. Oh, Pro City. Yeah, yeah. Same, same. Townies, bro. Townies. Ooh, I, I like to say Central. Town? I don't know about town. Ooh. Yeah. I never considered. If I was like, town. was it from Radford? From that side, Maybe. townies, guys. Oh yeah, no. Guaranteed. Anybody not from country was townies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what's you your cross the Koalas is town or anything? <laughs> what's, what's your jurisdiction of like Kailua? No, yeah, townies. Really? Was, yeah, even Kane, was even a, uh, even Kaneoya would be like townies. No, wow. I, see, I, I wouldn't. You get street lights, like bro. How many Kailua? street lights do you guys get? Because the Brownies. road, yeah. Kailua, you go up to the parlor and you go around town. That's the only thing I consider. I consider yeah. Kailua as this like just this old, a- old area nah. where there's like, like kind of like Sunset Beach, but more of its island type of vibe. You I know, know, I know where you're getting at. Yeah, 100. Yeah, yeah, percent <laughs> North Shore, but hey, Koku, Stamping Grounds is North Shore. Kaneohe doesn't. Kaneohe doesn't have a beach vibe. Kanye you get on town vibe. One small city, like Hilo almost. Yeah, because you get a couple tall buildings there too, yeah. Kanye is not known for the military too, you know, the way the water around Botanical gardens. Yeah, it's mocha. Kanye is. But it's beautiful though, the valley is Yeah, true. True. Winterside is magical, man. I can imagine waking up and seeing all of that, you know, like, wow. Oh, just even working on houses right there inside that valley. Huh. Right by the H tree stay going through. Haiku side. Yeah, yeah, Haiku yeah. just watching. Like, oh, wow, so nice. Bro. When she rained too, can you imagine oh, all yeah, the water moving around? Yeah. Kahalu is like that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Waikane side is me. All that, just all cliffs. I just. I like that, man. It's like, ah, oh, it's a special Paolo, vibe, bro. Paolo, we never really have cliffs, but still had mountain, yeah. Mm-hmm. Moka. Paolo rain. Everything. You could go, we live Koku, so Koku and like, yeah, pouring, sunset, pouring, Koku, that's it, shiny. Yeah. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> Stay right on the tip now. Not catching you know, on that. Yeah. It's that microclimate from one, right. like, valley to the next valley. Right. From you one turn the corner, the bing. Yeah. Right. Well, I like, always trip out on that pine forest in, in Haula. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, was trippy. Cool. It's just yeah. sitting right there. Bam. All yeah. the way up. 
was always there too. When always I, when, when I was elementary school. No when, shit, uh, huh? I started elementary there in fourth grade. No, you think uh, they planted yeah. that for like it, intention to like harvest that for something one day for like oh. telephone poles or. I wonder if it poles. crept over the, the ridge. It, nah, somebody went they plant that because no Hollywood sh- was yeah. taking a side the wood and they put that over there. Right? Yeah, replace them real fast. Yeah. Uh. So the round the Put wolf, this look, watch out, Christmas tree gonna be so pretty. Oh shit. End Got up out of hand. Rubbish. 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 In the Folks. rubbish. Yeah. It, it's crazy nice to see, though. You see all the other trees that's pretty much like either invasive or yeah. indigenous. And, and then in one spot, the stronghold yeah. at it again. Yeah, it's not, it's not going nowhere, too. They're not letting yeah. those other plants come in. Oh, yeah. It's probably the kind of one other cover secret to 007 stuff. Um, they probably are the, communicating to the yeah. roots, too. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Fun yeah. Guy, yeah. Roots fun come guy. near the. The battle is already on. Oh, like, that's a wormhole right there. We can go down. I like that, but I like that it's a secret entrance to something yeah. in the mountain, some underground. <laughs> like oh, yeah, something's well. hidden in there, some oh. bunker. If oh, not, yeah. the kind of convoys he can ski down that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that all on that side of Kanohe Marine Corps Base, yeah. all the old dug like. Things where they dug into the mountain. Kole Kole Pass by Y and I. Yeah. I heard it connects all the way to like this I side. Skate it, bro. It's wow. crazy. By when in one? We're on that side. One of the was up California Ave. You know mm-hmm. California Ave. Yeah. Why Why yeah, yeah. yeah. At the end of California Ave, get military training area. East Range out over there. Yeah, something. I don't know. I never been there much. Mm-hmm. I mainly stayed on the other side or or like. Dillingham or Haleiwa or Kauku too. But I went up into this place one time doing field exercises and mm-hmm. stuff. And I was a mechanic, so I could work on own vehicle and then I got to test drive them. Not just go, okay, it's done. Right. Yeah. Good no. to go. I got to test drive them with the guy who assigned <laughs> with that vehicle. You yeah. sign to that vehicle as your vehicle, you in the passenger seat, go for a cruise. I would always give those guys the best rights ever. You know? No shit. They just fucking, fucking Edos, Edos, you crazy, man. <laughs> I'm testing this. Oh, road test, it says. It'll I'm never gonna, break on you again. I'm going to test this thing out. You know what I mean? But we was in a Humvee and just exploring the area and these back roads and stuff and came up to a tunnel. Huh. And for me, that was just like, what the? Local boy's like, I'm going to go in that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and then the gate was open. Uh-huh. The guy with me was like, don't do it, Enos. Don't do it. I'm like, they said, we're not uh, authorized only, yeah? Right. I'm like, we're authorized, man. Wait, right inside. No shit. Two lanes, no lights. Went in for a little bit, straight, straight, went in for a little bit, and then came to an intersection. Cause oh! Never seen that in no, my life, you know what I mean? One intersection? In the mountain. In a mountain? In these mountains? In Hawaii? You know what I mean? Oh. And then I was like, okay, yeah, straight, left or right? So I was like, ah, go left. Oh, he went. He t- <laughs> 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 well, I go left. Burp. Started going down that road. Dark. Everything. That guy is like, fuck it, you know, turn around. But it was too skinny to kind of turn around. Right. Just <laughs> send it, them and, all and the we're way. Passing, so deep. We're passing um, huge, like, bunker doors. You know, okay. like, you know, like, what bunker uh, doors yeah, yeah. look like. Big ones, and go a little bit, bing, one not on, and it was kind of curving a little bit. And I was like, What the hell did I get? I was ready for just reverse out of this thing all the way, no problem, you know. What I mean? <laughs> but uh, I came to one cul de sac, no fucking wrong, Yo, dead end in the mountain or cul de sac, guys. What doors, 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 Door, doors, yep, just fucking doors, like that. And I start coming around. I was kind of scared already, but I'm like I'm having a good time, yeah. But I, but in my mind, I'm thinking I'm gonna make this guy sh- shed his pants. <laughs> <laughs> so I start doing donuts in the oh, <laughs> in the cul-de-sac. Just yeah, not donuts, but just keep going in a circle and, and kind of fast. Right, right. Like give it a little bit of gas, you know what I mean? And right there, I just turn off the lights. 
hole. Burn! Fuck! He started yelling at me. <laughs> hey, I, I got scared myself. I stopped. I was all disorientated. Trying to figure out where's the light switch now because the military trucks get freaky. Different. Light switches, yeah, it's way different. You know what I mean? Uh, where the fuck Okay. Damn. What do you think was in those bunkers? You know, at that time, I was just assuming military stuff. <coughs> Ammunition, I mean? maybe. So what do you think now? Oh, <laughs> oh you were. Giants. Oh, Godzilla. You know what I heard? What'd you hear? That. People. From oh. Edward Snowden when he leaked some shit. That's the guy. He used to live in Hawaii. He used the to NSA work. NSA in Kunia, right? They have, like... That's where, like, they have, well, maybe not that one specifically, but in certain tunnels in Hawaii, they have, like, where they're listening. The NSA has, like, outposts and stuff and shit where they have, like, just desks with, you know, with computers and shit. Like, that's, like, listening mm-hmm. device. You know, that kind of shit. That's what I heard. And then I heard they use them to traffic people. That's mm-hmm. kind of dark, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, for this yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I know <laughs> that we had, um, when I used to work for Hankles and McCoy, we had a, a contract to do all the telephone. Um, it's a telephone audit, basically. We just... Tap into the telephone, see if there's a dial tone. Mm-hmm. If there is, then find out where the dial tone originated from. Mm-hmm. So a bunch of my friends went, and I was in Schofield at the time, but they're like, bro, you wouldn't believe us in Cunha. I was like, what yep. you mean? Yeah. Jump on the fucking golf cart. They drove into the mountain mm-hmm. and just kept on going. And there's mm-hmm. offices and all kinds of shit over there. No, even get um, get levels where you like, go oh, cut your hair, get bubble shop. Right. Get... Get the PX for buy your little whatever you yeah. like. There's get, a commissary there, bro. Get um Burger King. Fuck, dude. Get stuff like yeah. that too, bro. It's like you like because they gotta stay underground. Yep. Yeah. Well, there were they, probably people in there need. heard you guys drive by and were like they couldn't do anything about it because their job is to just stay in there and do what they're doing. Like they yeah. can't even go open the door. And be like, what the fuck is driving and down it's, this tunnel? And, and it's a <laughs> it's a home V too, yeah, right. so it's not like. Quiet, not a um, Tesla. Some local boys right now with their, their whatever, yeah, Datsun or whatever, you know what I mean? If they heard of Hubby, like, woo! To oh, oh, but look outside, lights are on. So you think it's disoriented, but that I know is true. That right there about the tunnels, I know is true. That that yeah. is made for people like you for going inside the house. Dummies. And scare yourself <laughs> with some other brothers. Yeah. Trying to scare somebody, scare That's yourself. True. Right, yeah. East Range. And <laughs> what would have happened if I went not. straight? Uh, what happened right? if I went right? Straight to Probably hell, because I would have went straight to Fuck. hell. Can you imagine you driving your superiors around the other end? What if that was heavy? Or, or, or <laughs> <Come> I <laughs> see something I'm not supposed to see. Yeah. You fuck with and the military, sorry, too. You already you're not going home. You're not going home. Boys, you're not going home. That's why they don't open the doors when they hear you drive by, because, like, you're not supposed to see it. Yeah, you're not supposed to see that shit. Right. right. <laughs> The giants that they're waiting. But who for left that. the gate open then? Dummy. His ass is That's gonna get reamed. <laughs> <laughs> but I went through him. I was like, even though the sign said no. When I saw work at Lelihua, fucking East Range, they'd have the exercises. Bruh. Unreal, bro. They get tracer rounds and they would set East Range on fire like all the time. Oh. And they just go off, bro. Like the military is, they got some shit going on over there, bro. Oh, yeah. Their exercises are fucking outrageous. A when firework I, show. When I exited the military, um, that same area is where they train the the guys that jump out of helicopters. Oh no shit! Air assault. Uh, it's called air assault. Air assault. Airborne is the um air parachute. No, Paratroopers. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's air that's assault. Uh, yeah. That's air assault. Oh, air assault. For the cockroaches. But uh, that, that was the one of the last things I did before I got out. You know, I was actually checking out of the military already. Nice. But I was still in. But I'm processing out. I processed. I gave my gear back. Da, 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 da. But this one hard-headed uh, sergeant major that we had required everybody to go. No matter if you... If, if you're pretty much out of there, yeah, out of there. But I was required to go because I still with the company. Still in, actually. Technically, nah. you know what I mean. Mm. But I checked out of everything. One foot out. So the door. I went anyway. I was like, hey, whatever. Oh, it was fun, bro. Free training for Jump repel. Yeah, basically, it's called repelling. Yeah. 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 You ever did that before? Yeah. Nope. 
How, well, how did you get into repelling? I used to climb cell towers and do all the cell tower stuff. So oh. off the side of the buildings, we have to repel and yeah, oh, do all that. nice. So you had that whole. Yeah, tie off and you just work from there. Yeah. And what you had your own harness. Yep. Yep. For us, we had to make them with the rope. Oh shit. With the, with, the, with the D ring, I remember the D ring. I don't know if you know about those. I get them on my key ring yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have one. Depending on your arm length or double arm length or whatever, and then you get a technique for build your harness. Right. And then that's what you. And plan. you guys get that that's figure eight yeah, in the middle. That little ring with like one eight. Or you guys just get the single ring. What, Nothing. What ring? Nothing. Oh, no shit. Just that D ring. Oh. It's right here. They, they send a rope through it, loop it, right, and then that goes down, yeah. And ah. then for training, you need on spotter, yeah. Okay. Okay. So if anything go down, they just tighten that rope, catch you from down, and and it's like breaks, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, so he belaying you down. He he controlling. Can you right if 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 you need. Oh, that's cool. You know what yeah. I mean? Out of the helicopter, yeah. No, 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 no. Um, this is training, so tower. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fine. But we have to go down twice. Once down a wall. Mm -hmm. And and the other side, get the skid that simulates the helicopter. So it's free fall off the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. You just fucking, woo. You got to make that, dope, that leap, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, bro, I, I, I'm scared of heights, but I enjoy that feeling. Bro. Yeah. I enjoy it. Lack of Plus falling or lack of control? control. Safety, yeah. Yeah. yeah, scared of falling, but not. So it would be easier <sighs> for you for just fall rather than being held up over. Wow. So to, yeah. I don't know. Of course, because a frightened build up. Uh, <laughs> Once you're already going, it feels good, but <laughs> yeah, to be yeah, up yeah. there and before well, you, you go. You can't do yeah. that to you, But, bro. I guess that's how I make carnival rides because that's how I feel, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know they do that up there, but they they actually have tra like three week training for people to go. Yeah, more hard than basic training. Is oh, it just shit. like survival skill kind of shit, or is it like you just earning your badge that that now you qualify to do that? Do that. Yeah. You know mm. what I mean. Mm. The guys that go to Air Airborne for paratroopers, they just earning that. Right. But what that does is go put them into. The kind of units that need those guys. Yeah. Right, right. So I was like, You're oh. furthering your resume. Oh, I'm glad I'm not going into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paratroopers, nah, I'm out of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? No ways. Yeah, bro, fucking. Um, I can hear you crinkling that bag, Mike. <laughs> French fries. <laughs> shoot me. Um, no, that's fun shit, dude, repelling. And that's something that, like, I think even kids nowadays should learn because it teaches you a lot of practical shit, you know? Oh, oh, if there's oh. something heavy, if something needs to come out from a high area, you can get it out. Like, Plus, uh, overcome your fears if you got to do yeah. them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always told myself, like, bro, my body's going to rip before this rope, so we're good. You know what I mean? Like, I trust the rope. Uh, I'm not 2,000 pounds. We're good, bro. <laughs> the first time I did them, though. I did on crazy stunt because I was, I was you know, supposed to go a little bit at a time, yeah? You gave yourself some slack. Oh, bro. <laughs> I, I went past the starting line. Because the starting line, you get less rope, yeah? Right. I went a little bit past him and I just kick out fire, let him go. <coughs> Hell yeah. When I bought that rope, when I bought it back, bro, it came slamming into that wall so hard. <laughs> 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 I did fucking kick one more and I was down to the bottom already. Yeah. I watched those survival shows and this guy's doing it for like a fucking waterfall. I was like, bro, that's kind of yeah. sketch. Yeah. yeah. Especially when there's like a rock face and you got to get over that rock face to get yourself down. Like, oh, you got to pretty much and it, jump. And in training too, feel heavy at that rope. Mm. But that's only training. The real one is way longer. You know right. what I mean? So to get that breaks. To work, you need some strength, and yeah. you still gotta have it in your hand. So if it, if it falls out of your hand, you still gotta search for that rope, and you. But but the ones the ones you do, you get one, you get some kind of device no. for your break, or it's just straight to the butt. Use your butt as the friction. And the butt can slow you down. Ours one was that that little loop on uh -huh. the D ring, and when you bring the thing to your back, it, right, it 
creates the the tension for stop, oh man. Yeah. And it's a pretty slow stop. It's not like and, rah, it's kind of like yeah, 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 yeah. But then where, where I mess up is you know that hand it does nothing. I went fucking grab because oh, I was scared. I, was like, well, I had gloves, and I was like, uh, uh, and I grab and I got off. And I was like, oh, you know, and you realize, man. hey, the fucking you gotta get that glove the adrenaline off. Adrenaline's like break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where it does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it does nothing. I was doing one off the chart house, bro. I didn't have to do the technique. You know what I mean? The butt, the butt whip. But I was rappelling off the chart house one time, and some asshole put a, a knot in the rope. Whoa. So as I'm going down, I see it go, whoop, and I'm like, oh, shit, and I got stuck. I, like, I couldn't go up. I couldn't <laughs> go back down. So I was stuck at, like, the 12th floor, just dangling, like, for hours. You got pranked. No, I guess yeah, the guy who that packed. On purpose. Yeah, what an <laughs> asshole. The guy who packed the bag accidentally left a knot in there from the previous job. So when I threw it off the side, I was yeah. too late already. Like, fuck. I don't know so, safety protocols where you check your own rope before you start. You gotta. Uh, well, well, everyone looked at him and said, "Everybody knows your eyes." Yeah, he was my helper. You're <laughs> supposed to do all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> he was like, "How long he was over there? About two hours." You yeah. motherfucker! Hey man, you wanna join? <laughs> Remember me? All right. Well, let's wrap. We've been going for over two hours, okay. or at least two hours. So let's wrap it up. It's Thank late, you guys. Yes. Um, babbling on, guys. Man. Yeah, you know, dude. Babbling on. Turns into one funny. of those nights. But um, where can people find you guys on Instagram? Shout out your guys. Shit, you guys got any shows coming up? Natty uh, Vibes on Instagram. Oh, uh, at Natty Vibes. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Surefire. We have a residency over there every second weekend of the month till December. So next December. time we play there is the 12th, 13th, 14th. Okay. Work play uh, on the 19th. Surefire. No, no. So Surefire every second weekend of every month. Okay. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 6 to 8 p.m. Sorry. Gotcha. Great show and for the kids, too. Yeah. Good yeah. Show. Early. Family time. Time. Yeah, Early. Food, 6 to 8. Food. 6 to 8. Oh, nice. no way. Sure. Yeah. Family time. Ah. Yeah. And then when at um, work play? Uh, work play is from 9. What was that? Seven to nine thirty or seven to ten or something like that. On something when? like that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, know, not, seven not family friendly. Not yeah, family. no, no, not yeah. family friendly. It's a nice place though. Cigar friendly. You said on the oh, 19th? Oh, is it really? It's like a cigar oh, bar. Of this oh, one. August yeah. 19th. August 19th. Okay, so this will come up. Tobacco then. cigar? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I sneak in the auto one? Um, I think people do, yeah. I don't know. But a lot of cigar smoking there. Okay. Yeah. I know we do, but it's usually not. I get some buzz in my pocket. I catch on buzz just walking through those guys. Fuck yeah, that's tobacco. a lot of tobacco in just, the air, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Good thing inside is not like that, but oh no shit. Yeah, inside no smoke, but outside. Oh yeah, it's outdoor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Outdoor. Well, tell yeah. people where they can find you. you guys, oh, you know, you also guys cannot too, stop. You guys cannot also stop. Also, too, yeah, we got one new song out. <laughs> oh, yes. right. It's called yeah. "We Need to Talk." That's why we're here because we need to talk. Hey, yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, I can find it on iTunes. Spotify, um, Tidal, wherever it's YouTube, yeah. your telephone. Somewhere all around your phone, just go at 95. You get the link at the top. Uh, for not, the song. In a link tree. Kind of, yeah. sort of. That yeah. not, we'll update it, guys. We'll update it. <laughs> yeah, check it out. We need to talk. I mean, that's the first song that we did, too, yeah? Uh, when? Yeah, we, that's so the they, first yeah, song yeah. we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. just opened up with that. Yeah, yep. that was the new one. Yeah. Thanks oh, for having us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys yeah. so much, man. This right, is well, awesome. Yeah. Tell them. I got a P2 this so way. I'm trying to wrap this the shit up. Oh, baby. Guru. Yeah, baby. All right, um, guys. Pick All right. me up OGS, Wahoo Garden Supply, 94150, Leo Leo Street, Waipahu, Hawaii, 96797. In beautiful Waipahu. And follow me on Instagram, Voices from the Planet. And now available on YouTube podcast. All right. Awesome. Fucking. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you again for playing. All right. Check you guys out next time. Peace. Peace.